<clears throat> and now we can update with anchorman Eric Farmer. <clears throat> Good evening, I'm Eric Farmer, and you're not. Our top story this week, GoFundMe steals $9 million from trucker protesters in Canada. But first, a look at the weather. Cold as fuck again this week. Just another nasty week of winter here. Um, we had a pretty decent winter going on, but these last... Ever since 2022 hit, it's just been winter, winter, winter. So, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to spring. But, yeah, we had a really cold week here. It was the hit down to negative 15 degrees on Wednesday night into Thursday. Hopefully, that will be the cold, coldest it gets this winter. That will be the bottom of the temperature range. We're hoping you never know, though. I've seen it get colder than that. February, March. So, but anyways, yes. Go fund me. Fucks the truckers. What do you expect? You know what? Would, what? Uh, it doesn't surprise me one bit. Uh, that's what everybody's talking about these days. How the truckers just got screwed. But yeah, it's a big thing going on up there. It's, you know, there's there's just so much stuff going on up there with this trucker thing. And then we got we got the whole Ukraine thing going on. That's something else altogether. And I guess last week, the United States sends more troops to Europe to counter the buildup of troops from Putin. So, yeah, that's a thing this week. And what else besides the shitty cold weather? And, yeah, the, but the protest, it looks, looks pretty good, man. You know, it's, it seems to be having some effect. I don't know if it's all staged. I just don't know. You know, a lot of people are saying, yeah, the whole thing's just been a big setup. And it's going to have horrible consequences in the end. Uh but yeah, I think this this nine million dollar rip off by GoFundMe that might turn around to backfire on them. We'll see. Might make people more determined to send them money elsewhere uh, through other means. They might even get more funding. It's just the whole thing is just insane. It's start you know a lot of people are saying it's like like another Occupy Wall Street type situation. But yeah, I guess it's it's having an effect. They're, so they're claiming. They're just shutting down the roads all over the cities with these parking trucks everywhere, I guess, and honking their horns. It's crazy, man. Some crazy shit. <laughs> and it seemed, and it just, it's so crazy, it just might work. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess they're trying the same thing in Australia. And I don't know. I don't think it went as well down there. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what's going on anywhere, really. All I know is I'm just fighting like hell to try to survive through this freaking insanity. Doing what I can, just, you know, even though now I, I finished my first week on a new job and that's that, that's going okay, I guess. You know, at least I got paid and the guy said he wants me to come back next week, so... That's that's a positive thing, I guess. As much as I hate working, on one hand, on the other hand, I, I don't. I kind of enjoy working. You know, it's it's a double-edged sword. You know, everything is right. There's always two sides to every coin. Nothing's nothing's ever perfect, and. Things are just steadily getting worse. That's for sure. That's all I know. Everything is just steadily declining for most of us. In one way or another. Yeah. Man, I'm a little... I don't know why I'm tired again. You know, I think it's the weed I smoke, man. 
it's that indica weed it makes you groggy it's it's not a myth <laughs> even though i i took a nap today i haven't done much today did a little work around the house and did a little bit of shoveling some snow out there other than that haven't really done much today to make myself tired i guess it's and i took a nice at least like an hour and a half nap around one o'clock between like 12 30 to two somewhere in there i don't know if it was quite that long maybe it was just over an hour i took a nap yeah i think it, it could be i should quit smoking indica weed but i like it the other weed doesn't seem to have an effect on me doesn't do much because if i'm not tired i'm i'm not getting the effects <laughs> but yeah fucking windy out there tonight man Whew. gosh i just just can't wait for the fucking winter to beat over with i just don't like winter it's tough my dog has a hard time with he's got a, he's got kind of a fucked up leg and he's got a, you know it's hard to keep him from running through the deep snow he keeps he does it you know but do what I can to try to keep him from fucking up his leg so bad that I've got no choice but to have surgery done on it or have it amputated or yeah it's just it's just one nightmare after another in this life but for right now his leg's doing okay he just got a slight limp on it nothing to you know he's put he puts weight on it just fine so as long as he's putting weight on the leg, I'm not too concerned. You know, it's when he starts walking around on three legs, then you know, his leg is fucking done for. Well, yeah, it's it's not easy, man. And then I got to go to work, and I'm leaving him, leaving my dog with a dog sitter, my neighbor, which is cool. You know, it's be I think it's better, but I I do miss having him with me all day long. But it's not. It's probably not the best thing in the world for him to be dragging him around and leaving him in the car while I'm working. So life's got its ups and downs, man. Nothing's ever perfect. You always got to make sacrifices, you know, it sucks. I hate it. Why can't I just be independently wealthy and I can just do whatever I want? I try to do it. I try to become wealthy, but it's, it's so hard. <laughs> It's tough to become independently wealthy in this world. They make it real hard. They keep throwing expenses at you and sucking all the energy right out of you. This, like that one dude said, the world is a vampire. Sent to drain. Yep. Nothing true could be spoken. <laughs> Just a constant sucking energy out of you, never ending, never ending. Always paying bills. Bills just, bills just keep coming in. Bills, bills, bills. And they just keep going up. I'm trying to make more money so I can, you know. What the fuck are you going to do? Just, just fucking survive as long as you possibly can, I guess. So you, you just can't take it anymore. And then what happens? I don't know. That's the fun part about it. You just don't know how it's going to end. How is this whole fucking shit show going to end? Is it coming to a head? Big war. Is there going to be a, a nuclear war? I don't think so. Will this war that they're trying to push with Ukraine and Russia, it could spread into World War Three. There could be nukes. People could die. <laughs> Wasn't the Ukraine... Uh, the place that was having all the protests was it Kazakhstan? I thought that was in yeah. 
Russians were like sending troops over there, I thought too. And, and Syria, I guess, is involved in this shit. So, yeah, it's all a big shit show. It's all about the game and their, their agenda. It's like from one agenda to the next. It's been a never-ending shit show for our whole lifetimes. And now it's just starting to get interesting. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, the, the trucker, truckers got screwed by GoFundMe. Man, why would, you, why would people trust that, you know? Should have known. Should have seen that one coming, I think. I heard, heard a lot of people talk about that. You know, why, why use that platform when they know it's... You know, controlled by them. Them. Who are they? It is them who are in control of GoFundMe. And they are not down with the trucker protest, apparently. So I don't know, man. It's it's interesting. How long could it possibly go on? I can't believe they're actually doing this. Canada, in the middle of winter... It's the whole thing just sounds insane. Uh, uh, it's just some something that just ain't right about this trucker protest. I don't know. Call me crazy. Something smells a little fishy about it. And now the you know it seems like another one of these you know entrapment things. You know, getting people to expose themselves and they're talking about their. They are going to be, you know, rounding people up. They're collecting all kinds of information on people and they're going to be rounding them up. That's what the police are saying. So, fuck me, gently. A lot of people, I guess, they just don't care. They've had it. They've had enough of this shit. Where are my friends at tonight? Looks like maybe we are being sh silenced again. Possibly. I've got a few viewers here. Uh, got a few viewers. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Cold as fuck here. Windy. I hate the wind, man. Wind makes it. Uh. Well, does anybody like the wind? You ever hear too many people say, I love the wind? Maybe sailors and windsurfers. <laughs> but most people, uh, oh, the fucking wind. God damn it. Fuck shit up. Try to do things out in the wind, and it's just hard to do anything. <laughs> and it's fucking cold this time of year. Yeah, that's what's going on, I guess. That's what they that's what they want us to know about, anyways. And then, oh, and everybody's supposedly dropping mandates all over the place, but local businesses are still enforcing them. So, can't go in the grocery store up here the, the, the ma without the mass police attacking you. But I guess uh, Denver dropped its mandate. Mo a lot of counties around around Denver area dropped their mandates, but not Boulder. Boulder's a bunch of fucking cunts, man. They are truly in lockstep with the program. Hey, hey, Joe Dirt. What's up? Yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> what was I talking about, man? Goddamn. Oh, dropping the mandates. Well, they're doing it all over the world, you know. It's, But not in where I'm at. Aussie's Radio Half Hour. What's up? 
Davy boy, how you doing? Fucking wind is whipping out there, man. I got some wind chimes that are ding, 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 ding. making some noise. Oh, can't wait for this fucking winter to end. It's supposed to get a little bit nicer here. In the near future, I think after this windy night, I think tomorrow's supposed to be nicer. And then next week, it's a little bit better weather, a little warmer. No snow in the forecast. So looking forward to that. Because this week's been fucked. Fucking cold. Ugh, it's just been no good. The cold just won't go away. The sun shines, but it still stays cold outside. It's crazy. Have to behave watching my boy's little... <laughs> yeah. Joe Dirt doing some babysitting. Joe, the famous Joe Dirt, now a babysitter. <laughs> yeah. Predict floods to screw our food supply. Yeah. I think Davy Boy's onto something there. <laughs> Somewhere there's going to be a flood. Somewhere there's going to be a drought. Somewhere there's going to be tornadoes, hail, hurricanes. Put a snow to melt to an already saturated ground to start. Yeah. That's how it's going to be in the Ohio Valley. And all those other valleys, Mississippi and what's that other river over there? <laughs> Tennessee. But yeah, you know, like that Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane Harvey. Cartel. A fucker drop. That was a real world record for the most rain ever out of one storm. Five, what was it? 50 inches. You know? Hey, Mad Pyman. Yeah, so we'll see if they can beat that this year. Yeah, it's it's going to be crazy. You know, they, they were giving us, you know, predictive programming, like the movie The Day After Tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, there's been some bad like was it a couple years ago was real bad. 2019 maybe there was flooding like I don't know. I don't know how the world is still going, guys. I just don't know how the hell the whole thing hasn't sunk already, man. How the hell is the the world not underwater from the melting ice caps? But then again, why is Nancy Pelosi buying beachfront property? She knows the ice caps are going to be, you know, it's such crap. Go to the ocean anywhere in the United States or in the world. It's still the same as it was when I was a kid. The goddamn sea level has not risen one fucking iota. <laughs> they still keep fucking pushing this bullshit. I don't care how much fucking sea ice melts. It ain't going to raise the sea level, man. It's bullshit. The, the earth balances itself out, man. It's, it's. Pelosi has been. God, how does that fucking psychopath keep going? With that crazy. <laughs> with her crazy laugh. <laughs> and now she's running. For, she's she's going to get reelected. There's no doubt about that. Reselected, I should say. Because they want us to have these crazy fucking fucked up world leaders and it's all by design. And that's why all the world leaders are so fucking crazy and stupid and fucking pretend to be like that, you know. It's all a big shit show. And you ain't part of it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's see. 
Yeah. Nazi Pelosi, I call her. Oh, I said the N-word. Oh, I guess she comes from like a, mo- a mob family. Oh, I better be careful. She didn't talk about the mob. Don't want to piss the mob off. Her eyebrows are nearly in her hairline. Oh, I get it. She's been she's been having like facelifts. <laughs> Everybody says that she's a, a big time drinker. There, uh, Ozzy just said it. Nancy the drunk will be the next in line <laughs> after poopy pants. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that makes sense for sure. <laughs> Everybody say Trump's running again. Trump's coming back. He's going to make America great again and again and again. These fucking Trumpsters, man. God, a bunch of idiots. Trumpers, they call them out. Huh? Trumpers. They still believe that Trump is going to come and save the world, man. He's gonna pull open his fucking shirt and he's gonna he's gonna be Superman. Fucking bunch of idiots. You know why? Because they worship wealthy, powerful people. You know? They just love that. America loves our wealthy people. Like Trump. They worship him. He's you know, he's a symbol of American capitalism at its best, at its finest. Fucking criminal crook. They're all a bunch of criminal cr- You got to be a fucking criminal creep to make it. Trump tards. <laughs> they believe that shit, man. It's crazy. How can they? It's, it's just, I, you know. But look at all the other shit people believe, you know. This whole fucking shit show. They believe it all. <laughs> it boggles my mind. It really does that there's that many retarded people in the world. It, it, I can't believe it. I go out in the world every day and, and I'm surrounded by people that don't have a fucking clue. It's like they're, they got their head buried in sand and they're very, very happy. And they're all going along with everything. They're all, they all, you know, had their, you know, what's, and they're, they're talking about all their family members that died of the you-know-whats. And they believe everything they're told. They don't question nothing. Nada. Not a question one from these fucking people. I'm just, and they're telling me all this shit, and I'm just, I, just, I just keep my mouth shut, man. I don't even bother to, to try to talk to these people because it's, it's like talking to a wall, man. And they just look at you like you're crazy. Their eyes roll back and they look at you like, you know, I don't, I don't want that shit on this job I'm working on now. You know, I just, I don't want to be known as that guy anymore, you know, because it's not worth it. <laughs> so I just kind of keep my mouth shut, you know, and don't say much to these fucking idiots. Let them believe whatever they want, because I, no matter what I say, I'm not going to change their mind. And they're going to think that I'm fucking fucked up. You know, I don't really care. But yeah, I'm working with this Mexican guy and he's telling me, yeah, you know, he's had his two you know what's. You know. And I'm just, I just didn't say nothing. I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. He's had the you know what. He's been, you know, he's had the you know what, you know. But the guy I'm working for asked me if I had it. I told him no. And now, now he wants me to get a cell phone. Man, these fuckers want, you know. I, I think I'm, I'm going to deny that request. Well, you're going to have to keep me without the cell phone or, you know, I can't, you got to draw a line somewhere, man. You know, I, I stand firm on the fact that, you know, these people have become so fucking dependent on cell phones nowadays. They're fucking, they can't live without it. 
They want everybody else to be dragged down with it. But we all got cell phones, so you got to have one too. Just, we got to have constant 24-hour communication, instant communication. We must have it at all times. Why? Because you're all a bunch of idiots, and you, don't have, you can't plan ahead. So, yeah, I'll just be like, whatever, and I'll just never get a cell phone. <laughs> I doubt if he'll fire me, man. He's, he's having a hard time finding people to work for him, man. So, yeah, control. <laughs> you know, I, I can find another job, man. But you got to have your principles, man, you know. Fuck. You let this guy can coerce me to get a cell phone, you know? It's like putting a fucking a collar around my neck. Tell him you got a pay phone on every street. <laughs> you know, it's I, I want to remain one of the few people in the world without a cell phone, okay? It makes me unique. You know, I, I'm working with this, this Mexican guy, and he's like, how the hell? How, you don't have GPS? How do you find your way around without GPS? I'm like, dude, I came from a world where we didn't have GPS. I have that the skill in my mind to, to uh, find a place without a fucking device telling me which way to go. It's not that hard, man. <laughs> Couldn't believe that I don't have a phone. It just it boggles his mind that I don't have a cell phone. I don't have GPS in my car or nothing. How do you use apps? You see, that's the whole thing. You don't, you don't, you know, I use very few apps, you know, and I got, I got other ways if I need to use an app, but apps is how they get you, you know, apps is how they control your fucking life. But... <laughs> God, I just say these fucking everybody wants you to fucking get up, you know. Does it really make you know? So dumb. Look at this. I had an app and decked me. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, man. So I don't know. Just got to resist it, man. These people are insane. Next thing you know, he's going to he's gonna ask me to get the you-know-what. Well, I, you know, if we're going to get this job over here, you got to have the you-know-what. Come on, just get the you-know-what. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> the nerve of these people. My phone is starting to shit me, too. However, I need to claim UP benefits. Uh huh. Damn, that's bullshit. See, they trap you. Well, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't live unless you have this device. We want everybody to have one. Or you can do without the device, and we'll just implant it right into your fucking body. That's what they really want. That's what they're gonna have. If you don't have this implanted device next, you know, in the next few years, you're not gonna be able to do shit. They're just, get, they're just getting us, you know, down that road, and a lot of people are just going right along with it. Too many people, man. They just, and they, they sell it all on convenience. Oh, it's so convenient. You don't have to do nothing anymore. Your phone does all the thinking for you now. <laughs> you can't take it, man. It's driving me mad. It's a fact. They've taken away people's fucking life skills big time. And these people actually cannot fucking function without it. <laughs> it's amazing how fast it happened. Like 20 years. Went from no cell phones to everybody totally fucking controlled by it. The phone is the first, yeah, the phone is the first step to total fucking... Eugenics, I guess they call it. Man, that wind is a whipping out there. Woo! Fuck, I'm sick of it.
Yep, the phone is the first step that I've heard. People already getting shit planted in their brains, man. They got this thing they plant here and it has like a dongle hanging out of the back of your head. They can plug into. <laughs> they can plug you right into a machine. Just like the fucking Matrix, man. That's where it's headed. You know, they're saying this is maybe how this whole reality started. Something like this. And now they're trying to channel people into a whole new reality. Just like the Matrix, man. Maybe it's all fucking true, man. But, you know, like I would say, are we already living in the Matrix? Or is it... <laughs> There's only one way to find out, man. When you leave this, this reality. Or will you ever leave this reality? I don't know. This hell on earth. Everyone is walking around. They are, man, like zombies for sure, man. It's crazy, man. What happened to people? It's, it seems like it really does seem like a game, man. I go down, you know, drive around there. You just see people sit with their with their muzzle on, looking at their fucking phone, standing there in some stupid pose, like a zombie. <laughs> it's already happened. Experimenting, yeah. They got they got they can control a mouse with a remote control now. A rat. They got remote control rats, dude. That would be cool. I was saying that before. Wouldn't that be cool to have a remote control rat? Just fucking. <laughs> a news report from China they can make babies artificially from a pod being like the new movies yeah it's looking like all kinds of weird science sci-fi movies that I've seen all these sci-fi movies are nothing compared to reality yeah when they say truth is stranger than fiction man there's no fuck that's so true our mice are injected with big, yeah. They're controlled on the blockchain. The blockchain's a big thing, man. For some, has a big blockchain is big time control mechanism for sure. Speaking of Bitcoin, it had a huge rally. Bitcoin gained fifteen percent in twenty four hours. This just in. This just in. Bitcoin claim. Bitcoin gains 15% in 24 hours. It's up and down. It's very volatile. It's like a roller coaster ride. <laughs> Does this mean Bitcoin's going to the moon? As the predictions say, going from 40,000 all the way up to $250,000 per Bitcoin. What's going to cause that to happen? I don't see, I don't think so. Who the fuck's going to buy all this Bitcoin to make it go up to $250,000 per coin? Ain't nobody got money to buy nothing. Not sure if this is true. Didn't read the whole news report. Right. Now I'm hearing that like NFTs are like a, a money laundering scam. That makes sense. Man, I believe if you bought the dip, you would have doubled your money. I, I wish I had money to buy the dip, man. I was broke through the whole dip going, God damn it. What a time to be broke. You wouldn't have doubled your money, but you'd be making money right now if you would have bought when it went down to like almost 30000 Now it's back up to forty, so you would have, you know, you would have made some money there. I bought as much as I could when, when it was down. But I had to cash some out to fucking survive. So, hey, it's kind of nice to have it there to cash out when you need it, though. If you really need some money. Yeah, it's supposed to go up, man. We'll see. It's already going up. But then they're saying, you know, it could go back down. I'm thinking a lot of these experts, the experts are saying it's going to go up. It's going to go back down, then it's going to really go up. So it's all about patience. You got to, if you're going to do this, you know, you got to really be a patient person with this crypto investing. I mean, it's, 
It's a long, bumpy road. Yeah, it will crash and everyone will sell. Yeah, probably. Eventually that will happen. But when? That's the question. How high will it go before that happens? Nobody knows, really. There's no expert about anything. All I know is I'm still a little bit up on my investment, so I'm not bad. I'm not down. I'm definitely not, haven't lost any money whatsoever in crypto. I just hold. That's all you got to do, man. Just dollar cost average and hold. And maybe someday you'll have a something, or maybe not. It's, it's uh, you know, I think it's better than holding, than just keeping dollars in your bank account. That's guaranteed to lose value, you know. I, I think having crypto is at least a chance to make your, your, you know, net value go up instead of dollars constantly go. At least you got a chance with crypto. With dollars, you ain't got a chance at shit. It's just if you're holding dollars, you're losing value all the time. And that's that's what making, you know, shit like that sell is because people are realizing that. Saying, man, I got all these dollars in the bank and they're fucking losing value. You know, 15% per year, I guess, is what the average is. Is the dollar going down 15% per year? That's fucking... Maybe it's not quite that much, but yeah, it's... I think lately, yeah, the the buying, yeah, the buying power of the dollar is going down fifteen percent a year. That's why prices are going up so much. Fish, it's what's for dinner. Mm-mm. I love me some fish. Made a few losses from her holding over time. You over to, yeah. It's just like a bank account, yeah. But then again, you know, the, the turds that be, they want they want to get their hands on it. You know, they want everybody's, they want to make fucking, they're cut out of everything. Cannot make any money in this world unless you pay us. The fucking mafia that they are. Well, we'll send people to come break your kneecaps. Yeah, 80K for a new truck. Yeah, we are fucked. <laughs> yeah. There's no keeping up with it, man. There's no way that even crypto is going to keep up with the price of inflation, man. <laughs> Today I bought, I went to the store, spent like 58 bucks. I got one bag of groceries and a box of dog biscuits. The box of dog biscuits are like 15 bucks, I think. I could get the big box because... My dog and my neighbor dog, they eat quite a bit of that shit. And uh, so it's a lot cheaper to buy the big box, you know, than to buy a small box of milk bones at a time. But uh, so basically one bag of groceries cost 43 bucks. I think a year ago it was like 30 bucks. Lucky dog. I don't know. It's milk bones, man. You know, I don't know why dogs like milk bones so goddamn much. Uh, they must put something in there that makes them addictive to dogs. Milk bone has figured out the addiction of dogs. Anyways, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, everybody knows that dogs are addicted to eating. That's, yeah, my dog's pretty lucky though. He gets he gets a lot of bacon and spam. Whatever I'm having for breakfast. Whatever I'm eating, I I always give him some, a little bit. Uh, It's a bad thing, man. See, when my stepdad was alive, he had dingo, and he would, he spoiled him. He would always give him, he would eat, sometimes he'd give him half his breakfast, and dingo would, dingo was a young dog back then. He would just scarf it down. (laughs) Dog eat crack. Yeah, they love to chew. Yeah, I was looking at it. I haven't been brushing his teeth lately, man. And like, yeah, they're getting bad. So I started brushing his teeth again. See if I can get some of that fucking shit off, man. That's so hard to remember every little thing you got to do every day. Brush your dog's teeth. It's just. (laughs) 
Matt Piman stuck on top chat. Hmm. We loved, yeah, I'm just going to, two, five bucks on two tiny bones, almost threw, threw them in soup. <laughs> yeah, I start eating dog bones. My dog was 13, sleeps a lot, but still, your dog's still kicking. I remember when you were telling me he was 10, not too long ago. <laughs> yep, they're getting all dingoes 11 now. Trying to keep him as in the best shape I possibly can. <laughs> it's a losing battle, though. You know, eventually the dog's going to just get old and senile, and you know he's already he's starting to he's already starting to lose it a little bit. They say between like the ages of 11, 12, 13 is when they start to lose their mind, kind of. So that's it. Sad, man, to watch your dog. And it doesn't. It starts to not recognize you anymore and shit. Ugh. Can't I hate going through that, man. But it's part of life, man. You can't have joy without sorrow. Always, man. Joy always leads to sorrow. Mad Pyman in the house. And Joe Dirt. Hey, hey. Cheers. Hey, Eric. There you go. Where hey, am I? Hey, how are you? How you going? Man. I can't see me. Joe Dirt. The camera. Oh, there I am. Man. There I am. Good, the whole dude. gang. Coming in. <laughs> Aussie. Jay Coming in hot. Coming in spin up. There yeah. How's hey. it? How are you guys? How's it going, boys? Yeah. Well, we're still here, man. Shit. It's still alive. It's still vertical. Man, with all the crap going on out there, shit. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just boggles my mind. The world is still turning, man. I can't believe the world's still... Uh, how bad things are. I can't believe there's still food on the shelves at the fucking store. However expensive they might be. <laughs> with all the trucker shutdowns and... You know, the ports are shut down. And, and how the hell do they keep food on the grocery store to show? There's a lot of pe places don't have food on the shelves. <laughs> Look at that. Joe Dirt's got food. <laughs> he ain't stopping. I'm my fish. <laughs> oh, man. He's, he, yeah, did you, you catch those yourself? Warehouses, man. No, the... Uh, uh. <laughs> The buddy, you know, down the road, the one I'm watching the boy for this week. Oh, yeah. He brought me over some walleye, so right. I tied it up tonight. People, yeah. are, there's just so much fish in Minnesota. People are just giving it away. You, you'll never starve up there, I, man. So much I think fish. they bought it. <laughs> there's a lot of fish here, man. It's just most of it's sitting on private property, you yeah. know. It's all the good. Fishing spots are private. Of course. Fucking scumbag wealthy people own all the good shit. And they won't let us use it. I don't know. I, I can't tell you the lake I go to, man, but there's hardly anyone on it ever. Yep. You know, it's like right there. So what the fuck, man? Best fishing place ever. Plenty of fish. Most people that go there, though, they don't they don't get fish. They don't know where to fish on it. Mm. You got to know where the fish are at. Now people got fish finders, and man, it's not fair. Wow. Yeah. yeah, my dog sleeps a lot too, man. He, yeah, that's cheating, isn't it? That's, when he's not I I when he's fishing, man, if you got a fish finder. Yeah, it's cheating, man. It's no fair yeah. for the poor fish, you know? He just wants to eat. <laughs> Just like everybody else. It's, fucking, it's not supposed to be uh, a setup. The fish was set yeah, up. This, I watched it's this one guy. Who, he, swim, he swim. Goes, yeah, it's a it's setup. A trap. It's a trap. It's like this whole, you know, ending the ending the mandates. It's a trap. I ain't buying it for one minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're going to blame it all on the... On, yeah, we'll, we'll see how climate change. They're gonna, they're gonna blame it all on climate change. 
Yeah, climate change coming, man. It's gonna get oh, you. Oh yeah. Whether you believe in it or not, it's gonna get you. <laughs> it you know, doesn't care whether you believe in it or not. Everybody stop. <laughs> Everybody. It doesn't There's care too much about breathing anyone. going on. We're killing the planet. And we should Everyone all just... must stop breathing the 24-hour 24 24-hour 24 breathing strike to save the planet. Pretty much what they're doing by, by putting muzzles on everyone, right? It's in buffaloes. It's in buffaloes, man. Can't believe that people... Now, I, don't mean, so... I don't mean the wild buffaloes on the prairie. I mean the buffaloes in the bar. Holy shit. <laughs> what do you mean the buffaloes in the bar? Oh, come on now. You need to fill it out. <laughs> Huge ass buffaloes. Oh. <laughs> Only in America. Supersize me. Yeah. That's all you see in the bars anymore are buffaloes. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been to a bar in a while, man. It's, it's not the same as it used to be, man. It's not the same vibe. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, you're lucky that you can get into a bar, Joe. To, There's he, so many he people that are. Everybody in the bar is just an idiot, and they, you know, they they believe everything they're told. Some it's, un, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I can't believe it. people are so stupid. I really can't. Hey, the, the bar I'm, I'm the only person believe. around that, that doesn't believe it. It's, yeah. it's right. You're not the only one, Eric. But it's sure, the fuck you all have that, access right? to information, but they just choose to ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> they don't got time. They I, I, I just kind of assume that most people cheap. I just kind of assume that most people don't like what's going on, but that's not the case. Uh uh-uh. uh. Most people are, are going right There's along. There's convoys happening all over the world, man. The zombies can't the zombies can't ignore it anymore, man. The whole world's yeah, got convoys, got, oh, man. Yeah. All the capital it's cities are getting it. filled with like, trucks and cars and people, man. Yeah. Did you see that guy in Not Canada who was just anymore, freaking man. out because all the, the truckers wouldn't stop honking? No. I didn't He's see like, that. can you just stop? I, you know, please. <laughs> I'm Maybe trying to sleep. People complaining. And he's fucking okay, yelling. He's just, he's just no, they, they, freaking out. I stopped. He, uh, well, you know, if they, yeah, I guess if, if the whole thing is genuine, they're not going to stop until they get there. So they drop all the mandates. The so they drop all restrictions, and they're just not going to end it. They're, they're trying to negotiate with them, I guess. Well, if, if you open up one lane of traffic, we'll do. We'll give you this. You know, it's become like a hostage negotiation, kind of. Hey, bye, man. Uh, can you shut your camera off? Maybe that'll help or something. Been all night, all day. Joe Dirt shut his camera off. All night, all honking, man. <laughs> yeah, that would drive you nuts all day, all night. Yeah, after okay. four, after five days of honking, they 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 agreed to stop the honking at one o'clock in the morning. Man, they made an agreement oh, yeah, so uh-huh. people can sleep. Sounds like yeah, an episode in of Ottawa, you know, it almost sounds like an episode of of, of South Park. You know, that, they did 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 then like Canada on strike. It almost seems like a predictive programming for this. Yeah. There's an yeah. episode on South Park called Canada yeah, on boy. Strike. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually worried about Minneapolis. Well, I don't think they realized how big this was going to get, though, man. This is this is the biggest event in the world's history, man. This it almost is, seems like you know, South the biggest Park uprising that's ever happened in the history of the world. Yeah. I mean, I've heard of oh, others. I don't know, man. This, this isn't going away, It's just a fringe group, my man. It's not going away. It's just a fringe group, man. There's, there's right. only like 300 people, man. Yeah, they're just, just a fringe group. <laughs> yeah, just a, just a fringe. Small minority. <laughs> right. I don't know. Have you heard anything about it in the mainstream media? I, I don't know. I don't watch the mainstream media, so I don't know. No, they, they don't, don't come fucking, up they don't fucking advertise it in the mainstream, man. No, it's not coming Nothing nowhere up on the mainstream, man. They're hiding it. No. I think the, the the I know I saw a video of the police chief coming out and saying we're going to be targeting people that and we're going to be gathering information on people and rounding them up 
Oh, of course. Rest you after the fact. Saying, so what's new? You make a crime up. <clears throat> yeah, so what's new? They always like fucking like target us. Occupy Wall Street situation, but just way worse. Way bigger. Way more, you know, urgent. Yeah. I guess. Hey, they're, they're showing the protest to Minneapolis, you know. But no, this is worse than Occupy Wall Street. This is, yeah. you know, yeah. shutting down the livelihood of a whole country, kind of, I guess. When they're shutting down all these highways. There's some, uh, there's some BLM action happening in uh, Minnesota, I heard. Uh, yeah, they're showing that protest. Going down in Minnesota. Yeah. Probably well, showing protest. the protest there. They're showing that one because it's BLM, huh? Yeah, exactly. They like, I they actually like have, I'm pretty nervous, man, because I'm shit. Uh, here, I move. tell you, man, I have this. And move. I have the strongest feeling. I had a premonition years ago. Uh, the shit starts in Minnesota, man. You know? And every time I see him gather like that, I actually get a little bit worried because I'm just waiting for the fucking... I'm waiting for the tiki torch. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I'm actually concerned about many baby, even lied. Yeah, how far... I don't know. Well, I don't want to dox you, so you don't have to tell me how far you live from Minneapolis. It's a long hitchhike. Yeah. Your thumb will be frozen by the time you get there, huh? That's the only <laughs> thing I got going for me. Most of them walk. <coughs> yeah. How cold is it up there today? Mm. Not too bad. I think it's like uh, I think it's like 12 degrees. Ah, yeah, that's not bad. That's freaking. I'm still fucking cold, though. That's downright tropical up there this time of year. Uh, <laughs> I think we're, yeah, we're it's pretty cold here tonight. I think we're probably down around in the teens, like twenty degrees maybe or less. Mm. It's gonna warm up, man. It's gonna warm up, but the wind's blowing, so it, it's really miserable out there. Blowing snow and. Man, all, all of my snow shoveling is just destroyed from the wind, man. Yeah. Hey, Eric. That'll do it. Yo. Hey, Ozzy. I just wanted to say. Hey, hey, Jojo. Hey, Eric. I just wanted to say something about these, uh, these here protests here in uh, in Australia with Canberra and all that, right? Mm. Um, it's good that they're doing what they're doing. Uh, it's just that I think some of these groups have been infiltrated too by uh, – Possible BLM uh, mm. and just not not BLM exactly, Antifa? but just uh, yeah, it could be. I, I don't know, right? It's uh, with both what's of them been happening. Together. They're with, both kind with of what's been thing, happening. Man, I guess. With what's been happening in the last month, I think there's. That's why I don't really go to many protests. I used to go to mm. a few of them, but. Yeah, you see the type that are just in it just to so they they're in it for themselves and not in it for the whole collective, you know. Mm. So it's all about an ego thing, and uh, it's about. Well, they're being paid they're by people. Soros. Yeah, that's what I think. I think uh, a lot of these there's paid protesters and just about every uh, protest now, and and the the freedom movements are nothing more than just a company. I think. Um, so I, I that's just my opinion. I you know yeah uh, I don't want to dishearten anyone. But uh we just we just need to protest ourselves. When we go to the store or something, just say they asked us to wear a mask. No, sorry, I don't wear a mask, I can't breathe in one. Um yeah. it, you know, none of your business anyway, just keep going. Um mm. yeah, and and just put pressure on uh your your local government and your your councils and everything like that. Just be um, it, just just do do it. You do every day. Don't just as normal. That's yeah, don't I do just do. That's all I have to say. I just have to get that off my chest. <laughs> I've been yeah. It's a lot of places here. They don't say nothing if you don't. You know, they'll they'll be person there saying, "Can you put a mask on?" But if you just walk past them, they just they just leave you alone. It's crazy. It's, it's no, right. you, know, you got to be completely aware of of who the hell's around you right now. You know. But most places they It'd don't even say nothing. To you nice and then set me up, you know. You... Yeah, even though you know no, most places I go, most people are wearing a mask. But if you don't wear one, they they don't say nothing. Mm. 
but most of the people just comply with it because you know, they're just fucking good sheep. There's a sign at the door that says, please, you know, no, mask required. You know, so they can't go against the requirement. They can't dream of it. It says mask required on the door. I got to wear a mask, you know. You know, you don't. <laughs> Fuck that fucking sign. You know, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, go to a different place. They're on a different planet. <laughs> Mad Pyman. We lost him. He's back. The Pyman is back. <laughs> We're definitely in a different hey, dimension. I'm back. Truly, hey, it's like a bad man. Yep. Testing, testing. You coming in loud and clear, Pyman? You hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Roger that over. Yeah, I got fucking booted again. Fucking no. I just froze. I just froze up. Every people disappear. Eric disappeared, and uh, I think yeah, you disappeared, yeah. Aussie. And I thought, oh yeah, what's going on here? And then uh, I come back. And yeah, when my volume goes high and I can hear everybody really well, that means I've been kicked out. That's what happens. Mm. Yeah, so I had to get wow. out and come back. I'll probably be booted again so shortly. I That's heard they're strange. really gonna be they're really gonna be clamping down on the internet in Australia to start. Yeah. Well they've they've yeah. passed these uh, like China. China. Already, the fuck is there to clamp they've already down passed, on, you know. It's going to be like China. Well, I what's guess. there to clamp down on them? Now, they've already passed if, the if laws, you're man. worried about what's being said, then. They've already passed the laws. It's called the, uh, di- it's called the. Dis- it's called. What is it called? The disrupt and. Uh, Dis- disorganize or disrupt some shit bill? bill? No, it's a disrupt bill or something. Disrupt and. So they, they can just disrupt people's. Yeah. Yeah, they can plant and Internet they can put usage. videos on your channel. They can take videos off your channel. They can ban mm-hmm. your channel. I can do anything they we want can just to. just straight tell lies about you. Know, you, know, you know what I had yesterday? I was I was uh, calling a friend of mine, and he, he just lives down the road from me, right? Probably about, uh, I don't know, about 30 k's uh, east of me, right? And I yeah. I was on the phone with him for more than an hour. He, he lives locally, right, in the, in the Melbourne area, right? And uh, this is mainly for Mad Pyman, right? It's close to the um, city, yeah. People in Australia. Yeah. I got cut off on my phone, just on my mobile phone, after about a bit over an hour, just talking to him at around midnight. And then um, I rang him up and he goes, what was that? I said, I don't know, ASIO cut me off. I said, hi, ASIO, how are you? Hi there. I'm on the phone with him. Hey. <laughs> so they're watching. Hey. They're listening and they're a, watching. Hey, oh, was, definitely. Uh, they got, they got AI yeah, watching. Yeah, they're watching all right. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I, I was on a premiere, right? Um, that someone had reco- had someone who was in Canberra who was filming the the police brutality when they kicked everybody out of the the, the uh, camping ground. Mm. Someone restreamed that on a premiere, right? So yep. we had live chat, right? I stayed yeah. till the end, right? Till everyone had gone, the chat wasn't moving, right? So it was over. Yeah. It was seven people still in the chat, and then and then it went up up to twenty, and it took fucking agents talking to them, mate. You know, it's like people are pathetic. I think, yeah, I think we understood that. Kinda, you know, it's happening again. Mocking them, I was, I was giving it to them, mate. It was. Fucking hilarious! Yeah, there's paid agents I've never everywhere. Seen that that's before, ever, you know? oh, you, you remember the, the, You remember the, the, the when the fucking early two thousands? It'd be like oh, everything was, really... was open, dude. You could talk about anything you want, and we'd either look at you and go, "You're fucking batshit crazy." So you could just talk your jibber jabber over there. Yeah. That's completely fine with me. Where did yeah. we go from all of a sudden? Oh, you're batshit crazy. We can't ever hear what you have to say. <laughs> well, same thing that happened in you know in if, Germany. If we're fucking crazy, right? <laughs> if we're crazy, it's the same thing that happens every time. If we're this, crazy, these situations. if we're crazy and full of shit. If yeah, really you, you'd put a gun sat on me and tell me to stand over there and talk. 
but they don't even do that anymore. Yeah. Truth is disinformation now. That's what they call truth. Yeah. Hey, did you hear about they're doing um, disinformation classes in uh, high schools over in America? <laughs> uh, say that again, Ozzy. I I I disinformation classes uh, in high school. I think it might have been old news. I think it might have been maybe three years ago. But they, they wanted um, – this is, this is probably before uh, the the whole uh, shit show started, right? They wanted um, uh, teachers to teach uh, disinfo like in their English classes or something or in their uh, social media classes. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Like I think, front. yeah. Yeah. And, and they um, – they, they, they reckon that all this uh, stuff that, you know, all this uh, – uh, freedom stuff that we're on to like we're we're the ones that are bad people and then yeah you know, of course they're, they're making it, we're the ones that are, we're the ones that are the, the problem you know freedom so, is very dangerous to our democracy yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and dangerous. they actually see Your speech that is dangerous to our they democracy. actually see that your free speech yeah. is dangerous to our democracy <laughs> <laughs> what democracy <laughs> very dangerous very dangerous <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Here's the sad part. They ain't lying. To our, you know, it's not yours. Our democracy is not a democracy. But to them, that's all they ever say. They've always said that. We are dangerous, Mark, man, yeah, because we, we've got power. Our voice, is, our voice is powerful and our will as well, man. Do you, do you know what, they, they, what, realize, George, what did um, Thomas they Jefferson realize. say about democracy? The people who are trying to stop us from speaking, they know. What did, what did he say? He Thomas you, Jefferson said, you have, you have a republic if you can keep it. Better to, he said, better democracy, to have, better, democracy is two wolves better, and a sheep dangerous, discussing what's for dinner. Better dangerous freedom than. Yeah, that's what it is, Eric. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's from our four. That's what democracy is. That's why no is. true democracy ever can work. I'd rather, I'd Lord, rather have my freedom over safety. Give me danger over safety. Give me danger over safety. Nothing you can't. works. You cannot take human Dangerous greed out of the equation. You know, if you look, if you study history, it right. seems like whatever I've learned about history is that no form of government fucking works. None. <laughs> There's a flaw to we every fucking even, form. We shouldn't even no, be no, governed no, anyway. Yeah. None of them. No. Every single, every no, single. Because you can't, you can't take greed history. out of the but equation. But actually, no fucking reason. it ain't just mind control. That's, why, That's what government Control. It's not yeah, designed that's, to work. That's, that's that. That's what you learn. It's that you know, governments and you know, societies are not designed to to last. You know, they're designed to no. One of the few things that can kind of work for a while would be a representative republic, like we actually have. But when you sign that away, it's over. You ain't even got that. Even if the name's on yeah. the title, you ain't got it. They already signed it away a long I heard, time ago. I heard, I heard an interesting, I heard an interesting Early quote from someone. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody. I don't know. Somebody Signing famous made this quote, man. But it is. Uh, it goes. It goes along the lines of um, democracy. It, it, government always starts out as a democracy, but always ends up in communism. Mm. Oh yeah. Or ends yep, up being a total true. despotism. Well, they're the only ones with all the money to buy it all up and then to say, you can't have it. Yep. It's a game of musical chairs is how it plays out. You know, capitalism That's and all a that. great way to put it. We're shuffling yeah, the tickets on the Titanic. Yeah. In the end, there's only the, the super elites left holding all the marbles and everybody else is fucked. That's how it works. Yep. You know why? Because yeah, there's, never enough, works, man. there's never enough money in the world. There's never, people you know, seem to forget there are greedy people. Yeah. And there's never enough money in circulation to pay all the debt. That's that's the key. That's the, it keeps everybody in debt. Because it's, it's because they shit a lot. And that's what they wipe their Something ass interesting with. happened yesterday. Speak up. Something, up. something interesting happened yesterday in, uh, in Australian politics. The, uh, the, uh, de I think he's the Deputy Prime Minister, 
tried to he, he put his he put his resignation in and the prime minister denied it you can't 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 you can not you can not you how can you deny someone's resignation? They're too much of a good worker. He, he, they can't not get anyone world. else. You're not, you're not living they in a free world. They can't get you're anyone else, Siri. The they're, only way you can deny someone's jab. resignation is if that person is a slave. <laughs> they're, they're, they're the best. They're the best we can get, Aussie. They're the best available. There's, no, there's nothing the available. available. <laughs> we have to have these dickheads. Oh. <laughs> I don't even want to go there. Yeah, yeah. The best. These jerseys have been drooling the on the fucking floor. The best we can get. <laughs> the <president laughs> drool. Yeah. You ever notice drooling, in, like in, in the movies, the president's always some really good fucking, you know, intelligent, really, you know, smart fucker. Except, you know, in most movies, but in real <laughs> life, he's a fucking boob. Yeah. The commander in chief. <laughs> And now, you know, and now in movies, the president's always either portrayed as a woman or a black guy. You know, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like an idiocracy. Yeah, it's always a like black guy. Yeah. Or a woman. That's the only you know. president that came to my Morgan mind was that dude on idiocracy. Yeah. <laughs> Latrell. <laughs> 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 I can't yeah, think of the What's his name, Eric? Who? Oh. <laughs> Democracy. Idiocracy. Yeah, cook, cook a macho or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah you know, the whole the whole government sponsored a big, by Carl Junior. You know, the government's like a cast of characters in a in a you know in a shit show. It's, yeah, it's, it's a movie. What it boils it's, down it's, to it's a it's a comedy movie. That's all it is. It really is. They're actors. They're playing a role. Yeah. It's a fucking bad comedy. Have to, it's a real bad comedy. And the, the real people that are in control are, are behind the scenes. Obviously, you know, it's a bad Obviously. comedy. Yeah. Joe is like, you know, weekend at Bernie's. We got a president. At <laughs> they got to put him in the microwave to eat frost. <laughs> this is the longest fucking weekend I ever had, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> the extended version. Does he call him weekend President Bernie? Yeah. yeah. President Bernie. Was a, yeah. I saw a video yesterday where he was like, they left him standing in this room and he was just like, <laughs> was, man. It was like uh, they, they, someone had to come back and grab him and lead him out. <laughs> like, this guy sounds good. How does he do it? How does he read the teleprompter? Uh, I don't yeah. know, man. I'm starting to think there's uh, super <coughs> Joe Biden's. There might be, you know, people playing the role. Some people one that reads, one that wanders. Oh, you got, you got a Joe Biden, Biden uh, mask that they put on. An American president, man. He. Uh, some kind of robot or something that can read a script, but he can't fucking walk. Yeah, there was an ex-president of America. He didn't serve. He didn't serve very long. Man, and he, I don't know. I thought I thought Ronald Reagan was bad. He was pretty fucking senile himself. Everybody said well, oh, I like Reagan it. was the greatest president we ever had. Full I don't get <laughs> president. I don't no. get that. I don't yeah, I guess, I guess Nancy was one of the better ones. Right? I was a young guy at that time. I didn't know anything about politics or anything. I didn't give a yeah. fuck back in the 80s. Yeah, I, people, I, you know what, though? I'll give Nancy credit, man. She wouldn't even let the bushes over. She wouldn't. She hated them. She was like, yeah. you know, she uh, wouldn't do none of that, dude. She was pretty hmm. protective over that, over that dude. But she yeah. actually watched them. And she wouldn't let none of them fuckers in. We can hear you, Pi. Uh, Gerald Gerald Ford. He gave a speech. Yeah, Gerald Ford, right? The ex an ex-president of America. He gave a speech in front of a school of of uh, elementary school school children in in like nineteen eighty one. And a little girl yeah. that was in the audience. She asked him. Can I, could I ever be president? And his answer oh, was, "I remember." Well, yep. yes, it is possible. Yeah, it is possible because in the future there will be a very old president who will have a president. 
president. We'll and have a dies, woman as vice she president. She will become the president. That was in 1981, yep. man. Yep, and she would become the president. Yep. yep. I remember that. Gerald Ford said that, huh? Yep. 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 He said, yeah. Just in case so, you didn't hear Pie Man, he so said, say that, uh, yes, say that it's possible. Biden, something's going to happen to Biden and, and Kamala's going to become president? Is that what you're hinting that's, at? That's the only way you'd have a woman president, he said, yeah. Why else would they have a woman vice president? It's all, it's all set up. Who knows? Gosh. It doesn't, I, I don't think it really fucking matters. You know, I love it that people want to actually, is. actually, I like that people want to actually vote for Mr. T, but <laughs> he gave up on you all to begin with. It's like, yeah, let's pull him back in and see who, <laughs> he yeah, walked gotta, away you from you. what you say here on the, on the tubes. Hey, are, you talking about, are you talking about Mr. T or You're Pity the Fool? you bad about the election. Pity the Fool. <laughs> Oh, I yeah, the pity the fool. He used to drive around in the fucking black and red van. <laughs> oh, yeah. For some reason, talking bad about election results will get you banned on YouTube. Isn't that interesting? Oh, I, 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 I didn't say I didn't the results. question the results. But you, you, oh, I you didn't say the results. I know. Because they were but isn't that counted. interesting? <laughs> that, you know, they don't, they don't want people talking about that. What the, it's, it's crazy. But of course. Yeah, it's, it is. It's not meant yeah. to be sane. <laughs> of course it's all and we keep all catering to it too you know <laughs> you can't talk about we this and you can't talk about it. this yeah and, and we can and we can shut you down for any reason we want to because our terms of service are very vague our yep. community guidelines are very interpretable any way we want to interpret them yeah <laughs> And there's nothing you can you do know, about you know we might as well just start doing a fucking stream called ouch my balls Ah, oh, my balls! <laughs> Starring what was that guy's name in <laughs> something? Hormel, Hormel. <laughs> <laughs> His name was Hormel something. Hormel is uh, the big brand that makes spam. That's, Hormel that's some useless shit, yeah. yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> useless knowledge there for you. <laughs> yeah, and that that movie, Idiocracy. They all had weird names like that. Yeah, yeah. Like Beef Supreme. Beef <laughs> Supreme. <laughs> He's the president of the interior. No, Beef Supreme was like he was like the executioner. At the, executioner. You know, at, at the movie, you know, at, at the uh, Monday yeah. Night Rehabilitation. Monday Night <laughs> Rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. <laughs> <laughs> The plants need electrolytes. They, they need electrolytes. Funny, man. Like the whole section <laughs> of the audience, we all start playing the guitar. <laughs> 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 That's a, that movie is so good. Whoever came up with yeah, that shit. Fuck you. Well, if I ever get kicked off, I'll come back on as Joe Not Sure. Joe Not <laughs> Joe Sure. <laughs> hey, Eric. Yo. I've got to look at my screen. Your screen. South Park, yes. Which one is that? The movie. The movie. Oh, the the movie. longer and uncut version. <laughs> we'll try to remember. Yeah, I remember that kind of. That's been South Park was I guess it was good. Looking back. And, and on in it that all movie, now. and in that movie, they, they Cartman gets the V chip implanted in his head because he he's swearing too much. Mm. They want him to stop swearing, and he's like, "I can't say ass." He's like, ah. "Yeah, I can't say it. you can say ass on TV. That's not swearing." But they, there's so much predictive programming in there too, and that was 20 oh, years ago. Why, yeah, there's so many things I can see now that was predicted in South Park. It's, it's not, yeah. you know, like like the whole Canada strike thing. Canada on strike. <laughs> <laughs> And then in the end, they all started starving to death and shit. I haven't, I haven't seen that Canada on strike one. I think there might be a new one, but I, I've seen all, I've seen the the old ones. Like before, they, they went on like strike because before. they wanted more in, money. In the nineties, in the nineties, yeah, I'd watch a sitcom, and all I seen was the comedy in it, like Married with Children. All I seen was the comedy. I watch yeah. it today, 
and all I can see is the predictive <laughs> programming. The, no, they're no, trying no. to. <laughs> They're, no, they're, they're not telling you what's going to happen. They're trying Mind to control you how kids. you are. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was teaching people to be stupid, girls to be dumb sluts. You know, it was what it was all about. Degrading mm. our society. Yep. It's, always, it's always been that way. Like Kelly Bundy was the biggest slut in town, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I loved her. Yeah, everybody, has, everybody <laughs> loved Kelly Bundy. She was, Everybody <laughs> loves the biggest slut in town. I, I, guess. I like I like it when uh, I like it when I like it when Al got the uh, the the woman to fix his fridge. That was funny. Huh, I don't remember that. that. Oh, he, he got he got this hot chick to uh, to fix his fridge, and he invited Jefferson over to to have a watch. And then oh, uh, yeah. old Chicken Loops came one. over. Marcy came over, yeah. and uh, she's like, "What are you guys? What are you two guys ogling at?" Yeah. <laughs> I remember that one. They had to get rid yeah, of her, and they picked up this 300-pound fat dude with his pants you know, down. Was just you know, the oven. They had to stare at that. <laughs> you know, Al Bunny was like a total idiot, too, you know? Like, yeah. But he was a lovable he, he, idiot. But he, he, had a lot of wisdom. <laughs> he did have a lot of wisdom for an idiot. Yeah. yeah. He was like he was like the yeah. Homer Simpson before Homer Simpson. The shoe salesman. Yeah. The shoe salesman. <laughs> hey, beautiful women make us buy beer. Ugly women make us drink beer. <laughs> they always they always made fun of him in the show because he was a shoe salesman. You know, they was always like he was like, you know, a shitty occupation to be a shoe salesman. <laughs> so they always made fun of him. His, par- his kids were ashamed of him because he was a shoe salesman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was fucking great. Oh, shit. Just accidentally pushed the old fucking panic alarm on my car. Shut up. Uh-oh. <laughs> hate that thing. <laughs> I have my keys in my pocket and I'll accidentally push up. You're outside, man. That wasn't you. This is the first car I've ever had that has a fucking panic alarm on it. I hate it. I don't like a lot of things about these newer cars, man. I like the I old, took that old cars. Out. They're just too they're too complicated, these cars now, man. And they, yeah. It's so expensive to fucking fix them. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And you can't you can't get that car in the shop for less than a couple thousand bucks. Are you talking about Subaru? Yeah. Yeah. It's a clutch job. Yeah, I didn't want to say much to you at the time, but Man, they're nice cars, but they're fucking expensive, right? Expensive to maintain them for sure. Yeah, they're they're we also a pain in the ass to fix. They're also a pain in the ass. I had that Subaru though, man. This winter, I'm glad I got it. It's been now we been used to have a well Jaguar, these right? Ones. And we got the Jaguar for dirt cheap. I think it was like three thousand bucks at a at a police auction in Texas. <sighs> Dude, you couldn't afford to have the oil changed, man. It was just so outrageous, you know. They probably have to take the yeah, engine out to feed the oil. So yeah, yeah you, I don't know. They cram so much shit they, 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 small space. They pro, you know, you know what they probably have to do with that jack. They probably have to take part the engine out, like uh, Eric mm-hmm. says, and then uh, drain the oil and put it back together again. There's no <laughs> drain plug. To change the oil. <laughs> Insane. I was just talking to one of my buddies last month, and he said he uh, swapped the headlight out on another buddy's car, right? Because they both went out, so he had yeah. to swap the headlight out. They, they had to take the entire front off the car. There was no way to get to that headlight, so they had to take the yeah. entire front off the car just to change a fucking headlight. Yeah, I that's, that's the same thing what could, I had to do. I had to do right that as well. Pull it out, put a new one in. It was so easy. No. That's what I like. Not anymore. Yep. Yeah, you got to take this off, take that out. Uh, yeah, they they got rid of the access panel on this car. I forgot what it was, but he told me, and he's like, "Yeah, they got rid of the access panel around the you know the tire, the wheel well, so <laughs> they couldn't even get get at it through the wheel well. They had to pull the whole front oh, off. You just cut your own access part. panel into the wheel well, I guess." <laughs> That's what I said. I said, fuck, man, rivets are like 10 cents. You can't do that. You'll void your warranty. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah. See, Trust see me. here, right? That, that warranty got fucked the second them boys got a hold of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't got a warranty, man. So I got to pay for repairs myself. See, see. I'll tell you what, if that was my car, I would have bought some ATV lights and I would have bolted them right to the hood. <laughs> I'd be like, screw that. It like that. Yeah, is that legal? Probably not anymore. Oh, those lights. Oh, um, the reason I pulled. I would have drove it until they told me it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, they're just looking for a reason to pull. It wasn't over. easy. <laughs> I almost Another gave reason. up. I almost gave up. So changing the light. That's uh, no, yeah. You know that the actual headlights, like not not the yeah. uh, the globes, but the headlights, because they were cracks. You know the um, you know how you can uh, the glass. They're, yeah, yeah, they, because uh, I had to, I had to change them because the um the what is it the um the, the lens the glass the lens the lens cracks or the or, uh, the position yeah. of them it it went down and it and it cracked so it wouldn't hold <laughs> so I had to get one. I'm back. You gonna stay with us this time, play man? So yeah, I'm always. Constantly, it, it, no, I'll Subarus give it a go. Well. This is the last chance. Subarus are known to have headlight bad lights burn out, man. And you got to really keep an eye on them, man, because that's just, I think they do it on purpose just to yeah, get so some you, know, reason to fuck parts. With you. you know, you know, I've got the, the, I got the last they the, make uh, the money off parts, so you got to buy more parts and you don't realize it. You could easily get pulled over for, for you know, having a light out. Yeah, you know, it has many purposes. Why they make fucking shitty? Yeah, I got a, I got a BA Falcon, Aussie BA Fairmont. Oh, yeah. Last of the good ones. Oh, yeah. Ford made. I heard like a, a yeah, new light. Yeah, they're, they're, like, the, they're the good ones. Keep that one, uh, Palmer. They'll be uh, they're a good rock at those things. Mm. They yeah, last well, I don't like... So what are you gonna do, man? And and, 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 and won't be long before won't be long before we're allowed to drive at all. No, that's the last bastion of freedom. Uh, driving. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that they're really hinting towards that. It's coming, Where? coming down the pipe. No, I, I, and they, I, they definitely I want to do away with the, with the uh, gasoline car, man. They don't want us driving gasoline, so they. Oh, well, it ain't they, just they that. Everybody to it. I have to buy an electric car, which is fucked. You, you know they're gonna. Dangerous. You know they're gonna tell you you can't. You can't get a license unless you become an unperson. You know. Mm-hmm. Has a double yeah, seat belt. So triple I don't like what yeah. is going to be happening. No, I ain't I get that, my license soon, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Hopefully I can re no. get my license renewed without too much of a hassle. We'll see. I, hey, I, I, I this got year I plan on selling month. all my vehicles. I really don't figure I'll be driving around in two years. I got just over. I got just over a month before my fucking license expires. Not looking forward to it. Hopefully I don't have to go to the goddamn DMV. I can just do it online. But you can only do it online so many times before they make you go to the DMV. Get you down there and get a look at you and make you take another driving test. Make you take a you know, written test and all this bullshit. Yeah. I can hate it. But I have to look that up. Hopefully I can just send them the money and they'll send me a new license. But I'm afraid it's not going to be that easy. But that's how it was last time I got my license renewed. I don't know, like four years ago or something. You know, you got to renew your license. They should have a one-time thing. But the thing is, you got to sign up, you know. You got to agree to that contract every couple yeah, of years. It's like everything else. It's, it's like the, the model they want for everything. Yep. Everything expires. You know, they, they even want money to expire in the future. You got to use your money or it'll expire. You can't save money in the future. That's what they want. So years ago, years ago, I used to be a mechanic, right? So I used to do a bit of work for uh, police, police cars, and um, we'd go out on a road test with them. And uh, I remember we'll, we'll drive down the road, and, and there's like a, a sensor on the top of the on the top of the car, and it can sense if you're speeding, if you've got uh, you know unpaid tickets, or you're uh, you you've got a felony charge against you. So it knows. They've got a computer yeah. in that car that knows everything about you. I always liked it. I always liked it. 
Yeah, yeah I always liked it when they pulled you yeah, over. Yeah, the number first plate thing recognition. They... Yeah. Mm. yeah. I always liked point. it when they pulled you over. The first thing they want to know is if you got insurance. And it's like, dude, you already know who I am. You know how much I weigh. You know what I look like. You know if the cars <laughs> yeah. are don't care they want the papers. You know if there's insurance, dude. Come on. Paper to please. Them, you know who I am. That's the thing, man. That they love that model. They love that model of papers, please. And your papers are always yeah. fucking expiring. You got to constantly renew your fucking papers. It's been that way for a long yep. time, man. We've been living in a fucking... The N-word. Oh, I can't tell you how many times I've been charged time. with that, too. We, Proof they, of no they, they insurance, man. have been in a free country for a long time, but it's always been a lie. Then you <laughs> got to go to court and say, here, I had insurance, fucker. And they always use the excuse of public safety to fucking fuck you out of your rights. Well, you can't yep. just you can't just let people drive on the roads without being hey, scrutinized after the third by us. Time, it's after not the safe. third time, I was I was told right by the judge to keep that insurance card in the vehicle. It's like fuck you, man. I, you know I have insurance. I remember a time when you didn't even have to have insurance on your car, man. And, you know? Yeah, I remember that. Yep. You were allowed to take your own risks in life. If you wanted to drive without insurance, it was your own fucking risk. It's uh in in Australia it's compulsory to have insurance, so at least it is uh, everywhere now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is everywhere. And we don't you have to have basic you know, that, that started here in the nineteen eighties, before the like the seventies and shit, there was no compulsory insurance yep. in the United States. Yeah, in part, California. Part of registration. They, part of they're registration putting in a, in California, mm -hmm. they're putting together a bill in, yeah. in their it's house. Compulsory third party. Where yeah, you got to buy insurance. Yeah. In order to have this, you know. Yeah. And you know what I mean? You got to buy insurance. And the shitty thing is, is, they can just raise the rates yeah. anytime they want, and you're fucked. Now that's an infringement right there, man. They keep raising as the rates. As far as I'm you. concerned, the insurance to drive is an infringement. So is the license to drive is an infringement because it's habiting my ability to travel. And registration. And know. then if you have an argument and you say, well, you can use whatever, it's like, okay, I'll ride my horse to town. No way, you can't. And yet that would have been in there. You can't tell me they didn't have a horse back then. Dude, just, just face it, dude. The whole system is made to fuck you up the ass. Oh yeah, <laughs> without the it's lotion, obvious. without and on the good way. to put the lotion <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, and not in a way you're gonna like it either. It's gonna hurt. Mm. Now the lotion they fucking give me has got all that sandy. Even grit if you're into that sort of thing, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> a sandy grit starts to hurt after a while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how much you're into that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah wow, i hate it I'm tired of it <clears throat> pay 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 and they just keep raising it up and papers please you dare not go out I've got, your car with I've cars, I've got you go ruin your whole life you don't have all your papers intact and you get happen to get fucking yoinked over <clears throat> same man i think mean, i think palman wants to say something go ahead palman Oh, did he we lose him again? Sounds like we lost him again. I don't tell him that. Dang it. Son of a that. bitch. Palmer, that has just really been struggling. I don't like Palmer. Been struggling. I think he honks too much. He keeps honking everywhere. He <laughs> no, he's honking too much. <laughs> Palmer be like, oh, I don't know, man, 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 man. <laughs> Damn, man. No, let me talk. They're like, listen to this drunk ass. Man. No one's going to listen to him, so they'll let me talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It's just getting bad and just getting worse. What can you say? I'm not looking forward to it all. I, you know, especially not the, the getting getting my driver's license renewed, man. Just have a feeling they're going to give me a hard time about something. Just get that feeling. But probably not. We always <laughs> tend to catastrophize things. 
I set up an eye appointment back in November. Hmm. No, October, I set up an eye appointment. It finally came around like, uh, uh, I don't know, almost at the end of January. It was fucking negative 30 degrees outside, so I couldn't get the truck going, you know? So I called, and I'm like, I got to reschedule my eye appointment, right? Which took me three and a half, four months to go into. So they rescheduled, and it's fucking four months away again. It's like. Jeez. That reminds me, I got to fucking go to the dentist on Tuesday, man. Oh, God, I hate that. Go get waterboarded again. I now that, off, that might I, seem that might seem normal to some people, but around here, you generally only waited maybe maybe a week and a half. Okay, so there's the difference: a week and a half to four months, like overnight. Now I know that's how it is for any kind of appointments nowadays. Yeah, it's, I'm so fucking sick of it. It's all by design, especially if you got to deal with the government, man. Well, you they remember act, my they last act one. Like the shit. The plague is fucking very real, and it's going to kill everybody. It's insane. Oh, my last one. My last eye it's appointment. It's so fucking serious. Was, everybody must be right, muzzled up. All of there. this started. And I walked in there, and I, I had this on, but I had it underneath my nose because mm -hmm. I can't breathe back then. You know, I couldn't breathe at all. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you got to pull up. I mean, this is after I'm sitting in there. the damn chair. This is after I'm in the chair. Waiting for the doctor to walk right in. Known him my entire life, damn near, right? Small town, same guy for fucking... He knows my eyes better than I do. Dude, she's like, you got to pull that up. And I'm like, what? She's like, you got to put it over your nose. I'm like, I'm fine, man. I can't breathe. She's like, you got to wait a minute. I, I got I to gotta talk to... I got to talk to... to to someone real quick, the manager, and I'm like, you know what? I can leave, you know that, right? And she just looked dumbfounded, and I said, I'll tell you what, I'll just leave. Missed that eye appointment too, two years ago. Yeah, you got problems with your eyes? Oh, yeah, like 20 over 200 vision, man. I can't see shit. <laughs> Palmer says, buy a new iPad, you tight bastard. <laughs> <laughs> They don't want. That's what it's all about. You gotta buy it. You gotta re up your, your fucking Apple equipment because it won't work no more. It's by design. Yeah, Abby, Abby did not know what to do. For sure, she had to go talk to a manager because my nose wasn't covered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just I I walked right out of there. I'm like, forget it. It's all just, you could do, man. I thought I was making a point. I never yelled, never, never so walked out yelling man. at him, never did nothing. I just walked out in my silent protest. Mm. Kind of felt good for myself. Yeah, no yeah. one else does it. So what the fuck difference does it make? Diamond will never buy a new iPad. Fuck <laughs> Apple. Get a penny of his money. <laughs> You think a new iPad will work? Well, Pi Man, trust me, a free one will probably do you better. <laughs> Pi Man, a new iPad. <laughs> we need it. We need a GoFundMe page for for Pi Man's new iPad. Yeah, but they'll probably <laughs> steal the money. Yeah. They'll probably take all the money. Yeah, they got to make sure it's for pies and not cakes. Apple steals five thousand dollars. So five hundred dollars GoFundMe. For the pie man's new iPad. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want him to have it, man. Like, they, they want the truck. They, they'll deny him. Mr. Pie Man, and then they'll give it to Miss Cake. <laughs> okay. we, need, we need to trade his, uh, his, uh, his Cake. iPad. <laughs> yeah, it'll be the opposite. Mr. Pie Man ain't. You know what? I got a way to get out of this. Fucking, I, I found a way to get out of this dentist appointment. I'll just say, you know, I'm, I'm showing symptoms. Done. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, toothache. Get your ass in there. I sure. I need to go in there and get my shit cleaned up. What, what little teeth I got left? But, yeah. Uh, I don't want to. It's so expensive and it's. Uh, but you know. It's yeah. Probably, I don't. Uh, I don't like going to the dentist. I don't like going to the dentist. I don't. Yeah. I don't like going to the dentist as well, but. 
every time I've been to any of these medical appointments, I always cringe. I'm, I had a I had a text uh, from my eye doctor saying I was due for an eye appointment. I'm like, nah, I don't want to. I don't, my eyes are fine. I don't really need to get my eyes checked. But like, it's just kind of stopping us from actually getting actual medical checkups. It's it's pretty bad, you know. When that's I've never seen know, an eye doctor in my life. <laughs> yeah. Get it? I've never seen an eye doctor. Oh, you know, <laughs> <seen either>. very good. <laughs> Took me a while to get it. I'm just <laughs> a bit out of it today. <laughs> no, but that's a true story. I've never, why? My, I, uh, maybe I'll go blind one day and I'll be sorry. But I can't afford it. You know, I've got to pay for my own medical bills. Yeah. You know, I can't afford insurance. It's just too expensive. It's either I eat yeah, or, well, buy, or buy medical insurance. Well, here here it's like um, you have to get a job. You, you get a tax. You get you get tax tie here in Australia if you don't have medical insurance, but if you get medical insurance, you get uh, you get tax lower every year. So that, that, it just doesn't make any sense. They get you all the way. Yeah, it's fucking garbage. And I don't want to go into them fucking doctors. You don't trust them. Trust no. them at all. You know, I I think that like should be one of the only services at least that you should get free. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know it's it's just an evil thing. You know, for for profit medical industry is just it's a total. I think the whole thing should be run off charity. All they care about is money, and these doctors are you know they're getting paid to do some fucked up shit. Now I'm not going to say exactly what, but mm. yeah, they've sold their fucking souls. Put it that way, big yeah. time. It's pretty Seems fucking so. bad. What's going on? It's and then a lot of the, a lot of the people that work in hospitals are all in on it, man. They all know, you know. You hear about this guy that was in a car crash, and and they, you know, he, he, he all, you know the the paramedics and shit showed up, and he said this guy comes up to him with a needle. He says he's like, no man, don't stick that needle. And he's like, well, we're gonna have to sedate you, man. And they, and he fucking sticks the needle in him, and the next thing you know, the guy says he wakes up in the hospital, fucking pulling a fucking tube out of his throat. And fucking IV, IVs out of his arm and shit. Huh. Yeah. And he somehow he just came to, you know, he should he should have been. They weren't expecting him to come out of it. But from oh, all the drugs man. they gave him, they thought, you know, he was just going to lay there and die. Yeah. And somehow this guy came out of it, man. And he, and he you know, he got out of the hospital, man. He, t- he told the story. He's been all over the, the internet lately. Wow. Well. What was that about again? Definitely not on YouTube. I'll, you know, I'll probably get I'll probably get in trouble on YouTube just for talking about it. Yeah. But, uh, well, I'll tell you what. A pie man said in chat, he had it totally right. The dentists are immune from the coof. <laughs> it seems, huh? It seems so. Dentists I never really they, thought about that. Dentists take good care of themselves. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. Uh, but yeah, it's, I gotta, I gotta, you know, uh, mixed emotions about my dentist. You know, on one hand, I don't fucking like him at all. On the other hand, he's, he's all right, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a mood swing there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate, you know, it's just. When you got fucked up teeth, you got a bad relationship with that whole thing. <laughs> you know, and I spend most of my life not taking care of myself. You know, you know, all of a sudden, you know, in the last 10 years, I've been going to the dentist a lot, trying to save my teeth as much as I can. You know, it's like fighting a losing battle. Yeah. <laughs> so such is life, right? Life is a losing battle. <laughs> Pretty much. Guaranteed to fall apart at some point. Life is a game that no one wins. <laughs> no, it's all how you look. At it. no, it's all how you look. You can look at it that way, or you can look at it another way. From a positive uh, aspect. Tell you what, very few win it. Yeah, and it's just there's not many positive aspects these days. You know, everything is pretty fucking negative. No, there there really is. There really look at you know I. I don't know about you guys, man, but you look around, you look at all the children. Yeah, 
they ain't going to have one third of the shit that you got right now. No. no. Even, I mean, even, even, like... even all the poor people that bitch about everything that still have that 60 inch TV on their fucking wall. Mm -hmm. You don't give a damn about your children, I think, sometimes because you know yeah. what? You ain't even going to get that TV passed down without paying some tax, man. Mm hmm. So yeah, you just can't win. So you might as well just enjoy it as much as you can until it all until it all crashes down on you. Yeah. <laughs> I was raised in the Fuck day and all. age that they told you you could be whatever you want to believe, or you know, whatever you want to be growing up, you can be. You can be and president. I, it. Everybody... I can't tell that to my child now. Everybody I can really be an can't. astronaut, or a, or they can yeah. be like a football player, like like Tom Brady, or. Yeah, I can't tell my child that no more. No. You're lucky if you'll have any sort of a life, but you tell them. Yeah. No. Yeah. If, you, if you have any sort of a life at all, you're fucking lucky nowadays. And I don't want to teach him he's got a fight for everything either. A lot of people have opportunities now, and they just don't. You know? They just can't do it. They cannot fucking show up to work. They can't do anything. You know, this, this younger generation is pretty fucked up, man. They yeah, them all up with drugs. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty proud of my boy, man. And every time he's yeah. around other ones, I realize how proud I am of him. <laughs> like today, I'm like, hey, it's time to go throw some wood in that trailer for me. He was up and out the door in 45 seconds, dude. Hmm. His friend just stood there like, are you serious? And I looked right at him and I said, and your correct response would be, I will help. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. I'm like, get your ass out there. And... <laughs> oh, man. It blows you away. Anyone can be quoted, especially if you're trying, but only Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> and out of all the 300 million Americans, he's our POTUS. He's the best we can do. Yeah. It's the best well, we can do. You know, I believe it too. <laughs> best we can do it's either him or hillary that's all we got oh man and, you know if you really think that trump well, is something special i i gotta maybe say I, I, maybe I i'm wrong about I, trump I, i'd much rather have the drool on the desk than the high hills <laughs> yeah <laughs> All these Trumpers, they, they 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 seem to forget that Trump signed the biggest stimulus package in fucking history. It still fucking <laughs> destroyed the whole country pretty much. Sold generations yeah. down the toilet. Six yep. trillion dollars. Yep. That's okay. Though. And he's he was doing that to help. Just like you know, just like everything that you know, someone like Billy Goats. All he wants to do is help people. You know, if Bad just point. one person, if just one person got arrested, I wouldn't have gave a damn what he did. Honestly, but did you know nothing happened, did it? Who's that? Billy Goats or Donald Trump? Oh, Mr. T Man, yeah. If if one person <laughs> was kidding. just arrested, I wouldn't have give a damn what he did. But nothing ever got done. It was just the same old game, a different face. Mm -hmm. That's all it is, man. We're so stupid. He was pretty charismatic, though. But I tell you what, man, I was for him right at the beginning. And then I started watching everyone else yell for him. And I'm like, oh, fuck, the crowd's going that way. I got to go the other way now because mm -hmm. I know my lessons. You know, when the crowd goes left, you go right. I don't really care, man. You just get the hell out of their way. Right. And I well, we're not allowed to talk about that. Matt, Matt Palmer's saying, he goes, uh, life is a lemon and meatloaf wants his money back. <laughs> yeah. Life is Tell a lemon, and I want a little late for meatloaf, though, man. <laughs> Tell meatloaf he owes me a bottle of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one, man. That's the best one I heard all day. I reckon, I reckon I could pass <laughs> as meatloaf. I reckon I, if I dressed up in a uh, in a suit 
or uh, one of those, uh, you know, those old flailing suits. I reckon I could uh, do a bit of a, a rendition of Bad Out of Hell. Uh, yeah, yeah, you kind of got that meatloaf look a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Should try that. Yeah, well, years ago I, I went on, I, I, I'd done karaoke um, years ago when I was on holidays. I was, uh, I was at a bar and I'd done karaoke and one of the guys was like, oh, He's, he's given me the, the song book to choose. He's like, pick this one. And he picked, because um, I didn't know what to choose. And he picked the longest song on that list, was which was Bad Out of Hell, which went like 12 minutes. Oh, and man. I was up there. No one knew that that this song went for 12 minutes. And they were like, they were, wow. they were averaging like three minutes for each one. And they just gave me the big stare down because I was wasting everyone's time. <laughs> that was good, though, but I... I was, you know, I was, I was there for. T- I think I was up there for too long, <laughs> four times too long. <laughs> Four oh, minutes, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious, though. Good times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah imagine that would have been funny. Well, I think they say you could shoot a rocket into space, and under that time. They should make karaoke illegal. I think, I think, I think if anything should be bad in the world, it's karaoke. <laughs> well, bad karaoke. Good, bad good karaoke. karaoke. Do that. March out on the street. Bad karaoke. <laughs> start, start a protest. Uh, bad karaoke. That'd be a good one. <laughs> yeah, I remember when that was a fad. Yeah. It still is. Still pretty popular. Well, yeah, it was, it was it almost was a bad like twenty years ago. Karaoke night. Yeah, it still goes around, not as much. I live, yeah, there's a couple of places that have karaoke nights. If they're, well, if I think you'd open, have to you'd have, have to get down. me drunk in order to sing. And if I'm drunk, I can't read. So there goes the singing. So I'm <laughs> out. Yeah, but you know that's how they do it. Drink, you know, a few drinks, and people will do karaoke. The person that wouldn't do karaoke sober, give them a few, get them a little drunk. The next thing you know, they think they're Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> like a bat out of Wuhan. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm watching that one. Did you see the, the um, South Park where Mickey Mouse goes to goes to China? And he's like having sex. With, he, like, he likes to go to China and like have sex with bats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like Mickey Mouse. Like he's he's into bats, man. He thinks bats are hot. Because bats are flying yeah. mice. <laughs> That'd be perfect. That's a perfect match. And that's how the sea bit started. That's how the whole thing started. Was because of Mickey Mouse and Randy Marsh going to China. Oh, <laughs> It's how this whole situation began, according to South Park. <laughs> it all, it all started on charmony.com. It all started at a karaoke bar, too. <laughs> I don't believe it started in a wet market. It didn't start in a wet market. It started in yeah, a karaoke bar. Simon says Ozzy Osbourne <laughs> liked eating bats. That's Is that just a coincidence? <laughs> uh, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. He's a pretty fucked up guy. I'm stuck here on a crazy train. <laughs> he tries to say he didn't mean to, but, you know. <laughs> crazy, <laughs> but that's how it goes. I heard that. <coughs> the, the bad hitty bit was fake. I wonder if uh, Ozzy Osbourne's got coronavirus. <laughs> oh no idea! <laughs> no, he he's immune. He's immune now. <laughs> he's got natural immunity for the last thirty years. <laughs> Just keep eating bats. <laughs> he's having health problems recently, but who knows? He's he's pretty old because yeah, he hasn't eaten enough bats. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ozzy's, Ozzy's so old and did so many drugs, man. It, it doesn't really matter, you, you know. He should have done it. On his fucking limbs. But do you think he's got the drugs? Oh, they sure didn't help. 
don't know. <laughs> yeah. Probably. God, how much it makes you wonder how much drugs the guy did. I guess he was pretty fucked yeah. up. When Sharon found him, he was a fucking disaster. He was almost dead, apparently. Sharon brought him back from the dead. Huh. Yeah, yeah I never the, kept the up story with that. Of shit. He was he was like fucking just really bad shape doing drugs and drinking and shit. <laughs> That's the story well. of movies. Fuck, man, you give me freaking $10 million when I'm in my 20s, and let's see how far I make it. And then Sharon resurrected him, I guess. Sharon saved him to cash. He said, man, this, guy's good. this guy can make – he's got a lot of earning potential. Ozzy, he's got a lot of earning potential. He just clean you up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I was looking up Ozzy. I guess he's worth he's pretty rich, man. I think he's worth like two hundred and seventy five million dollars or something like that. Hey, who who do you think would do a better job? Ozzy Osbourne or PBJ president? <laughs> oh, Ozzy Osbourne definitely do a much better job, but he can't because he's he's British. Oh you gotta be born, I, I guess that's the rule here. You gotta be. No, gotta be Ozzy can States. do whatever he wanted, man. Ozzy can get away with anything because you'd never yeah. fucking understand a press conference whatsoever. Poor Ozzy, man. People just make fun of him. He's almost like. Yeah. Like the rock and roll version of Poopy Joe, or we can have Biden's. Become the only difference of, is he might not have wiped. Yeah, he's become kind of a, a joke. But his his last album was was pretty good, I guess. It wasn't too bad. He just put an album out a couple years ago or a year ago. I was I was surprised. It was it wasn't bad. I'm, I'm pretty amazed that Ozzy can still sing like that and. Joe Biden can read a fucking teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, Joe, Biden, Joe Biden couldn't even read a coloring book. A lot of things just <laughs> blow your mind, man. How he can sit there and read it. But yeah, he'll read a teleprompter. He'll read the parts that he's not supposed to read on the teleprompter. You know, that's what, like, you know they're, they're talking about uh, <laughs> repeating what they're, they're talking about what they're repeating in Canada down to Washington, D.C., right? Uh, you can't do that, man, because all of them horns, Biden's going to become running out looking for the ice cream. He's like, ice cream truck's here. <laughs> <laughs> What's his wife saying? So they'll never let that happen. Jill? Hey, Jill, Jill can we have some ice cream? <laughs> yeah. Can I have some ice cream, Dr. Jill? Dr. Jill. <laughs> Dr. Jill. <laughs> He always calls her Dr. Jill. Oh, oh man. Dr. Jill by <laughs> Yeah, poopy pants Joe. There's a guy that does a pretty good impression of him on YouTube where he like he like raps. But he's like he dresses up like Joe Biden and he like does raps. <laughs> it's I, kind I of haven't funny. seen that. I think I've seen a couple videos. Like, yeah, this I can't watch this. It's it's mildly amusing, I guess. I mean, it's so easy to make fun of Joe Biden. I mean, you know. Yeah, you do feel a little guilty, don't you? <laughs> like, I, I can never beat someone up that I knew I could do. You know, it's like eh, I just feel guilty. Can't do it. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Such an easy target. It's like, yeah. it's like shooting it, fish in a barrel. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's like calling a special person dumb. It's just like, and constantly doing it. It's just like, you know, you try, you try hard to resist, but in the end, you just have to. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I could do it because he's got so many speech writers. I'd be screwed. Hmm. <laughs> Me 
weekend at Biden's. It's been a long Biden. weekend at Biden's. We're only into the first year of it, for fuck's sakes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a decade of Biden's. It's the only in the first year of weekend at Biden's. Be interesting yeah, to see how these next three years play out. I couldn't tell you where the world would bring us, man. <laughs> but hey, we're still here. We're launching. They got the interesting. Ride. They got plans for us. Trust me. They got big plans. That's all right. Oftentimes, sure, there's a lot of people plans that mice and men go astray. Other people have plans of their own. So <laughs> let's go, Brandon. I'm sure everybody's <laughs> seen the video where. He, he says, I agree. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, I'll that's say that one. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> it was like Christmas time, yeah. I got to eat this. So, bitch. I was hot. <laughs> so, yeah, fuck. I had to use my fork. It's just... <laughs> World is just so unsure right now. Well, surely fucked. Not yeah. sure. Not sure Not what's sure. gonna happen, but we're pretty sure, sure something something bad's gonna happen. You get you get that feeling, right? Oh President, yeah. Not sure. <laughs> I've had it for a few weeks. For a few it weeks now. Bad things are coming this year, sadly. And it just keeps getting worse. I don't mean with what's happening, I mean how I feel, you know, it mm. just yeah, me oh, too, man. I just worse. Yeah, I got a bad, bad feeling about life lately. It's, it's, it sucks. I don't like that feeling. No, I'm not a negative person. I don't like that worry. <laughs> you know, you know what you're feeling. You you you're feeling realistic. It's it's uh, that's what I that's what I get. Like I'm I'm a bit nervous or, or I'm a bit negative sometimes, but I think it's uh, just being realistic about things. Oh, I refuse to be realistic. That'll always be <laughs> I might be getting older, but I'll never get realistic. No, no, that'll that'll put me in the hole. No, but I don't I know what I'm saying, dirt in the hole. The reason why we don't feel, the reason why we feel bad is because we're being, you know, we're facing reality and it's not nice. Yeah, if I gotta be realistic, man, I'm running out and I'm buying a couple gallons of lotion. <laughs> man, I'll be lotion. realistic. It puts the lotion on its skin. Yep. Or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> yep. That was in the movie Joe Dirt, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 And Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same guy, too. The dirt in the hole. It was the same guy in both movies. Oh, I have no guy. idea. I never, I never seen Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, but they got the same actor in both movies where they had him down in the hole. He had he had Jody Foster down in the hole. It puts the lotion on its skin. Oh no shit. Like it was like she was yeah, like in the I really well. never seen that. I might have watched it if, if she was in the hole. And then Joe Dirt, <laughs> and then Joe Dirt was the same thing, but he was like having a good time down there. He's like, come well, on, yeah, you gotta make the best of it. I Life thought you were gonna send me down some chicken wings and the and the latest, <laughs> latest edition of Auto Trader magazine, man. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking right. Yeah. Uh. And then the cops. Come and say, <laughs> You're lucky we got you out when he did. He was gonna. Make you know a, what? He was gonna make a woman suit out of your body. That's how every American should be, man. That optimistic. That just, hey, I'm going to make the best of this shit. Yeah, you can't hurt me. Yeah. You, know, you know, when I first watched that movie, right, when it came out, I honestly thought that's how all Americans were. <laughs> that's just how <laughs> I am. <laughs> I, know, I know you're like it. <laughs> I, wish I wish all Americans were like Joe Dirt. It would be a it would be a great country, but no, unfortunately, most Americans are not like Joe Dirt. No, yeah, they're not. Just they're quite watching that movie, I thought I just thought it was like that. They're more like uh, that one guy in the movie, uh, Kid Rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Kid Rock. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He was like Joe Dirt's nemesis in that movie. 
Kid Rogers. <laughs> you just yeah. You, this is what it is. Uh, that's uh, that's why I always like it to say. This is what it is. It sucks because like in the movie. <laughs> Whenever I hear whenever I hear Def Leppard on the radio, I say Def Leppard sucks <laughs> because of that movie, you know. Because like Joe Dirt was wearing a Def Leppard shirt, and like <laughs> Kid Rock was like Def Leppard sucks as, as Joe Dirt was running away all upset because <laughs> because uh, Kid Rock told him that the girl didn't like him, but she she was really in love with him, you know. Yeah, yeah. Joe Dirt and lied and said that she didn't want nothing to do with him. Oh yeah, no. You know how the movie went. Oh yeah. Okay, what was the girl's name? Ow, That's the trivia. What was Joe Dirt's girlfriend's name in the? Oh yeah. Come oh. on now. I can't now that. Tip that. my tongue. <laughs> Nobody it is. Knows. I tip my tongue. Try it on the tip of your tongue. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you know man. Was, you got to be shitting me. You know who was really good in that movie? It was uh, Christopher Walken. <laughs> Christopher Walken. Steffi <laughs> with the iron or soccer <laughs> iron. That's the wrong tone. You don't talk. <laughs> you're the wrong tone. Oh, did your mother sew? Bam! Tell her to sew that. <laughs> Christopher Walken's a trip, man. <laughs> One arm drummers are throwing their drumsticks. <laughs> man, man, he's... Anyways, yeah. Great movie, Joe Dirt. I love it. I love talking about it. I actually own that movie on DVD. I yeah, I've got it. I don't have a DVD player no more. My DVD I can't player find broke it. down. I, I can find number two, but I can't find number one. Huh. I bet you can order it online. No, well, I'm but sure I, I probably could, but I never do fun. that, you know. Ordering things online. Anybody I'll buy shit it. at the thrift store. I'd rather go to the garage sale and find it. Look at there, man. Every other garage sale's got a copy of Joe Dirt for sale. I I suppose I could go to the pawn shop and look. <laughs> Business at the front, party at the back. You know what I did today? I I, I was checking out Spotify for the first time, man. That that fucking place. Brandy, sucks. motherfucker. Is that Brandy? Brandy. That's her name, Brandy. That's her name. Yeah, I can't Brandy believe Brandy. that. Yeah, she was in something. Man. Brandy don't even like you. She she don't want nothing to do with you. She wishes you would never come back. <laughs> <laughs> She's just dumb. She's just plain sick of you, dirt. Yep. <laughs> no. Yeah. I've been sucks. told that before. Not a big deal. Yeah, he remembers. See, see, Joe Dirt, man, he thought he really liked Brandy. But you know what? I like the girl that he met at the carnival, man. Remember that? Yeah. He was pretending she was his sister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, that was you, wrong, dude. Like, I thought you were my sister. For me, I think I've done a bad thing because I thought you were my sister. <laughs> you like, almost got me. You thought I was your sister? Oh, How cool would that be, though, man? Everybody. To work at a carnival like that? Shit. No. I bet you would. Yeah, I've never fine. done that, man. He would get more ass than a toilet seat if he worked at a carnival like Joe Dirt did. <laughs> oh. Yeah, never did that. <laughs> never worked at, no, most people never have worked at a carnival. I worked at Eldora as a ski lift operator. That's kind of like working at a carnival. Yeah, not really. <laughs> no, not really. You don't get a <laughs> not really. You get Depends people giving out the little fucking stuffed animals after well, you get, you, you get to meet a lot of cool people. That's the one good thing about it. I got to meet a lot of really cool people working as a lift operator. That was the best part of it. All the people I got to know over the years working up there. It's priceless. Yeah, I bet. I could go around different places. I'll run into people that I've known for 20 years from Eldora. It's crazy. 
We still be like lifelong friends. It's amazing. But, you know, it's all changed now, just like everything. Everything's changed now. It's not the same. Yeah. I don't even, I can't even go to Eldora anymore. I can't hey, go goes, to a lot goes, of places anymore. It's an evil corporation in my book, man. It always has been, but now it's even way more evil than it used to be. They always treated their hey. employees like shit. You know. You guys want to see a blast from the past? A blast from the past. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I still got some of those. Yeah. And I, I have a, a VCR. Oh, oh I, I see you VCR. ripped it off. It must be an old porno. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a uh, Bon a Voyage. It's Bon Voyage Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Close enough. <laughs> So, That's crazy, man. I still, I still got it. You know, my DVD player don't work, but my old VCR still fucking works. It's got to be oh, twenty five yeah. years old. <laughs> the old, the old six head. It's, still, the, um, it's like it still works like brand new. Still works, man. VCR. Like my old original PlayStation still works. The old one. You know, yeah. It still works. Every other video game console I ever had fucking burn up. I mean, the only thing I ever had was like an Xbox. Fuck, that thing, dude. I left it on one night. I was playing like Grand Theft Auto or something years and years ago. And I, like back in like there 2009 or something. I don't know. Back then, it was pretty fun. back then it was pretty About, fun playing Grand Theft know. Auto. I, I just I was know. determined one, to beat the one game. One every year. I was determined to beat the game. I can't Grand get Theft the controllers to work. It took me like months and months to beat Grand Theft Auto, but I finally did. Journey <laughs> to Babel. But it was weird. I, uh, but uh, one night I left it on. I was, I was playing like Sean White snowboarding or something. I fell asleep. Woke up the next day and the fucking thing was burn up. <laughs> I guess that's what they do, man. These new video game systems are just meant to crash. I've got. I've still got the old ones. Have a look at this, right? Got the old Nintendo. Uh huh. Oh, that's great. The uh, Nintendo hey, 64. Hey, that cost a fortune, man. Sell that shit. Collectors that cost item. a fortune. You could sell yeah, that, right. and then buy. I. You could sell that, and then you could buy Matt Pie Man an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that could, that, they go for about two hundred bucks here, man. I was looking up like my old <laughs> PlayStation, what it would be worth. On, you know, the original PlayStation. Like with yeah, they're going like up in it's not worth that much, like 150 bucks or something. With yeah, but oh, hold, hold, on, hold on to that one, man. Uh, I'd hold on to the original PlayStation. Yeah, about it, eight it, years ago, I sold a whole bunch of the Nintendo games on eBay and shit, man. I was getting like 15 to 25 bucks for them that I, yeah, I, I got for free, you know. I got a new Xbox that I never play. I'm, I'm trying to sell it, but nobody wants it. I think Maybe eventually I'll that. sell. Eventually I'll, I'm going to sell them if I if I get uh you know just for to pay bills or something like that. If I get really tired, yeah. I'll have to sell. Them. Damn, that would suck to sell this. Just I hate selling shit to pay bills. It, it was something I don't want to sell. Yeah. I don't. Really yeah, sell I, I don't want to sell it. But if if things got really desperate, then I'll I'd sell because they're worth a bit. Dude, I couldn't sell you a vacuum if I dumped the ash on your floor, man. <laughs> you don't sell your shit, Joe? No, I don't sell nothing. Me neither. I try to have a garage sale. I don't know. No, but you know, I got a lot of old tools and shit that I've updated, but they're still good tools. Yeah. But I'll never fucking use them. Yeah. You know, I've updated them. All my old corded tools. I I might have had two of them, and now I got a cordless versions of all of them. So, oh, try to get rid of some God, of those old tools. But nobody really wants corded tools anymore. They're, they're right, that's corded. all I got. Yeah. Besides maybe a, a screwdriver. If you're like a professional carpenter and shit, you got to have cordless tools now. No, you don't. You got by yeah, without them just fine. But uh, no one will hire you if you don't have cordless tools. <laughs> that's, not <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> It does make you a lot more productive, it really does. 
you wouldn't believe how much more productive you are using cordless rather than corded tools. I think, especially like using a yeah, saw, man, the cord will get stuck on shit. Cordless saw is awesome. Not having that fucking, not having that cord following you while you're cutting because it would always catch on something, and you fuck your cut all up. You know, if you're not careful if you don't if you're not paying attention to your cord. So you learn, you know, to, keep your to cord. hold the fucking cord at the same time. You hold it yeah. with one hand. Yeah, but sometimes you forget to do that. You know. And, uh, and you, you, your cord will get caught up behind you, like, damn it, I forgot to fucking pay attention to my I cord. I think the only time I actually appreciated was. Especially if you, a if you, use, a cord saw, you use a corded saw, you, you forget about the cord. Yeah, that was about the only tool I appreciated was the cordless saw because nah. it had like that four inch cutter, you know, not, not a six and a half, seven inch blade. It had a four oh. incher. Mm. And Lightweight. it worked great. When you were cutting shakes up on a roof, mm. other than that, they were kind of worthless. You couldn't cut shit with it, man. Well, the new ones are a lot better. No, well, my opinion. The one I got is like a, a monster. It'll cut anything. Yeah. Mad Plumbing saying he needs to sell his cars, so he's got a VQ Statesman VL <laughs> and a VK wagon. I'll take the VQ Statesman, mate. Yeah. <laughs> The, the big five liter, the bananas. I'll take Simon's the bananas. The five liter, V8. I'll take the V8, Mad Foreman. I'm too far it's away. V8. And by the time you shipped to me, someone would take it off the railroad track. The so I'm out. The Caprice. Plus, they're phasing out gasoline engines. <laughs> yeah. These are the classics. These are the classics. These ones, the old, the old Holdens. <clears throat> The yeah, GM yeah, car. So <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I hate someone being will buy negative, them. man. Dude, I sold Beautiful. my old Deep Cherokee recently for. I wanted fifteen hundred oh, bucks, you? but I, I settled for twelve hundred. Yeah, it was. Oh, that's still good. That's pretty. That's not bad. And I only paid three thousand for it, so I got most. I got a good chunk of. My, I drove it for eight years. Didn't do much work to it, so yeah, it was it was a good vehicle. I got my eighteen hundred bucks worth out of it. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And turned around and sold, and then hopefully the, the this guy bought it for his daughter. Like, Are you sure you want to buy this thing? Man, it's got problems. But you know, it could be. It didn't have anything that was so serious. It was like an electrical problem that no one could figure out. It was just like all of a sudden it would just stall out. And then it wouldn't start up for like an hour. Once the engine cooled off, it would start back up. Yeah, it's probably a sensor or something. Yeah, so I got tired of that shit. And I, I took it to a couple of mechanics. They couldn't figure out how to what was wrong with it. It's all the, it's all the ignition. That's why, or that's why I decided to buy, buy that new car and I bought the Subaru. So yeah, I, I had, a, I had okay. a Jeep. Uh, I had a Jeep Grand Wagoneer that did the same thing. Mm. And it ended up being just a pinhole in the vacuum lines because they're all run off yeah. vacuums on them fucking cars or on them Jeeps anyway. It was really but it ended up being a pinhole probably. in the vacuum. For, That's what fixed mine, man. I don't know about you. Kind of told me is you just, get a, just start changing out different parts and see if, if you could find the right part that's fucked up. Yeah, that's that's usually the case. I would have told you to start. Cause that this part, this part, this part, or this part. So maybe three or four different parts it could possibly be. You know, that's what that's what guy suggested. You know what? I'm tired of this thing. I'm tired of this headache. The motor heats up, and that vacuum line when you got a pinhole, it it closes in on itself, and it'll shut everything down. That's what mine was doing. Expand yep, and it would only do it once it warmed up. It would, it would kill it. So, yep. Yeah, mine would do it like when and I was climbing up the wait. hill. Yeah, I was climbing yep. up the mountains. That's when it would do it. Putting the load on the engine. Yep. It's the same way. Uh-huh. You know, I get this thing when I when I overfill my tank at the uh, at the uh, gas station, right? Uh, or if I if I go if I go a little bit over. Uh, it's hard to start as well. So I think there must be something to do with uh, 
with that, some kind of vacuum thing or uh, it could even be the starter. I don't know. But it, it starts. Give it a bit of gas and it starts. But, yeah. Cars I sure cold. wish I could bitch about that. I haven't overfilled my tank in over a year. <sighs> yeah, I don't even come close to a half tank. <laughs> no, I'm always yeah, trying to keep, 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 keep some in my tank. Now, 30 bucks gives me like a half a tank now. Oh, yeah, it's expensive. Was... It's expensive, but I, I try and keep it <laughs> keep my tank beautiful. I don't I don't really use the car much anyway, so it uh, doesn't diesel's bother me. 360, 360 a gallon right now, man. So uh, a half a tank's literally like sixty bucks for me. Yeah, I might it's... have to trade my Subaru for a car that gets better gas mileage. I like to say I like to just stay home, but the truth is I can't afford to drive to town. Yeah, if you if you're isolated, that's that sucks too, because you really got to get yeah. into town. Like here, I'm I'm out in the suburbs, so there's a shop just down the road. So it's not, you know, I've got a good, I've got a too good actually. So, um, but you know, yeah. a lot of people are saying, yeah, they're they're just gonna do away with the gasoline engine, and not too. Yeah, they're, they're saying they keep saying this, by 2030 they're gonna get rid of the uh, combustion engine. Part of their climate change agenda is to, you know, do away with the combustion engine. I think. Make it illegal. Yeah, I'll, I'm sure I'll have to file a lot of permits and, and use climate change some type of agriculture just to be able to buy diesel in 10 years if I was still driving. It's a you fact, know? man. They want to for, yeah. you know, if you're going to drive, you're going to have to buy an electric car. It's going to be ridiculous. You probably have to pay $100,000 for an electric car. Yeah. Just you know, or they can like, send you a robotic they don't Uber. The, the average population driving anymore, man. That's it. Yeah, yeah, but they, they yeah, just yeah. they just put the insurance up. They just put the insurance or the registration up every year. That's what they do here. Yeah, they, they just they do that. Yeah. And a lot of things to force people out of their cars. They do that too here. Making it so but fucking expensive. Pretty soon they'll Sorry. just they'll just send you one of them automatic pod Ubers and it'll pick you up. Yeah. And I really just know. don't know how people do it. Yeah. How they afford to buy a car? I just don't understand how. It's, you know, it's buying expensive a new car, now. financing it it's and all expensive. that. You're paying, you're paying like one or two thousand dollars a month fucking car payments. Jesus, yeah. these people must be making a lot of money. Pay one or two thousand yeah. dollars a month for rent. You know, you're lucky to find a place for less than two grand yeah. to rent. I anymore. could never afford. I could never afford to buy any type of car you used or new by a bank loan because they would want full coverage. And right there puts me way off the books on top of all the payments. So, no, it's either I buy it with cash so I can get the cheapest insurance. To... No, <laughs> it's so expensive. My legs for a minute. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is very it's expensive. A lot of these days, man, start season up. <laughs> and I can't imagine what them trucks nowadays would go for. You know, 80 grand. Holy fuck! You're lucky to get a, a decent truck for under fifty grand, brand new. They have to push the loan to seven to ten years now. Yeah, uh, it's just ridiculous. It's just you know, I don't then, see. It's, if you become, you know, if you and then on top of that, you got full coverage, and you know yeah, damn you, well the got, full coverage is going to be thousand dollars a month car payment at least. Payment. Yeah, a thousand dollars a month for insurance. I know this, yeah. this guy with really he's telling me he's paying like three fifty a month for insurance. Yeah. Fuck you. That's a lot of money, man. That's yeah. When I drive into town, I go buy a food shelf and I always see these beautiful, nice vehicles at the food shelf, right? I'm getting like, food. You're kidding me. He's paying three fifty a month for fucking insurance on his truck. Yeah. What is that? Like, is that holy shit. Year? That motherfucker needs food. He can't afford the vehicle. That's like four thousand dollars a year or something. Yeah, <laughs> I, I pay exactly. like I pay like two thousand dollars a year, like twenty one hundred dollars a year. I, that's just too much for something it I works, never use. If, if you buy if you buy a car under finance, you end up paying three times as much as what the vehicle is worth anyway. Yeah, so not, and it better, depreciates. Depreciates save money in buying yeah. a car if you can. If you could save up like ten twenty thousand dollars. How much gas is where you guys are? That's expensive shit. You know, if you could save up like ten to twenty thousand dollars, you could buy a decent car. You know, for cash, and you'll save a lot of fucking money. Yeah, you know what you do. You, 
What buy a Toyota Camry? Toyota Camry or Toyota Corolla is probably the best. But a lot more uh, people can't save up ten or twenty thousand bucks. You know, it's out of the question. So they're yeah, forced. Hard, you know? they're forced yeah. to fucking finance a car. You know, that's how they do it. Force you into this whole system. You know, if you want to own yep. a home, you got to pay a shit fucking mortgage, insurance. Yeah, this is meant to keep you in debt from the fucking cradle to the grave, right? (laughs) Yeah, that's all you can say. You can still be paying after you're in the ground. (laughs) Yeah, a lot of people are still paying in from the grave. They're fucking pulling money out of them. Fucking a man. (laughs) Damn it! I thought I was gonna get a break from this shit after I died. No, that's (laughs) that's why you want to head. That's probably why they had dead people voting uh, last uh, U.S. election uh, or something. <laughs> it's like the Beetlejuice movie, man. You know, when you die, you go to you go to hell. It's like the DMV. You got to sit there in line and wait and wait. And wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that part. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like purgatory was the DMV or hell or something. Yeah, yeah I don't remember that part. Yeah, I think yeah, part the, purgatory part. was the DMV. <laughs> Deciding whether we you're going to go to heaven or hell. We call that big roads over here. Big road. You're going to have to go back to Earth and be a ghost like Beetlejuice. Or... You got you to go. You got to go haunt some. Yeah. Lori, Lori, put his Beetlejuice. Matt Feynman. How they kind of you know related it to the real world? You know, he, he had a caseworker, like like an unemployment agent or something. I'm your caseworker. You're going to have to go and haunt these people. It's your job. You know. I'm the government. I'm here to, I'm here to help. Or else you're going to have to go back in the line. Run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we know what it is, man. We know where it all goes. The question is, can you just enjoy the ride? You're all predictive programs. It ain't going to get no better. I don't care how much positivity there is. It's just, it ain't going to stop, man. Lori Lightfoot is Beetlejuice. That's right. She's the real <laughs> Beetlejuice incarnate. It's a real deal. Man, she looks like an alien. Frightening look. <laughs> yeah, she almost looks like they, they put monster makeup on her every morning before she leaves the house. No, no, they put <laughs> Mars Attacks in front of the camera. Yeah, remember that movie Mars Attacks? Like, like, she, like she's constantly coming off of a bad fucking, you know, <laughs> Meth trip or something. Yeah, I remember the first <laughs> time I seen her. She's got on YouTube, all night right? on meth. That's what she looks like. First time I seen her on YouTube. <laughs> like I she thought it was she looks like she's been tweaking for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Lori Lightfoot looks like to me, man. She's been tweaking for a week straight without any sleep. Fucking hey. I know people that have done that, man, and they look just like her. Oh. Mm. I guess I, I didn't pay that much attention. Yeah, well, you're not from LA. I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid in LA, man, Crystal to Meth. Me, I thought she just deal. swallowed a balloon. Crystal Meth was no big deal <laughs> back in them days, man. You know, it was just like drinking coffee and everybody was doing it. You know, it was, it was no big deal. People didn't realize how. Oh, I remember it, it everywhere. How horrible of a, yeah, of a I thing. Remember it. But like I said, I was they, they become, you know, you see people become serious meth addicts and yeah. until like the nineties and two thousands started just destroying people, showing all these fucking meth monsters. Yeah, no. I knew I was a drunk and a pothead, man. I, I wanted nothing to do with that shit. I already had two habits I couldn't afford. Yeah, it was just drugs everywhere. It was hard to stay away from them. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Now we pay the price for our wasted yeah. youth. <laughs> now we woke up and said, what the fuck? What did I do to my I need more drugs. <laughs> my whole life. Drugs and alcohol have oh, ruined dude. my life. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad time to wake up, huh? <laughs> yeah. Drugs are bad and come. Waking up, you do drugs, man. My, I'm glad my folks are all dead and gone, man. They don't have to see this fucking what the world has come to, man. It wouldn't fuck. 
But most elderly yeah, people, they just kind of <laughs> just kind of go. Okay. Along, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't talk to too many people that are way older. You know, what what they're thinking about. Hey Eric, do you, do you remember that South Park character, uh, Mister Mackey? Oh yeah, the mm-hmm. apologist. Mm-hmm. It's easy, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mr. Mackey. I love mm-hmm. Mr. Mackey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> He's a great character. <laughs> Way better than than uh, the gay teacher, Mr. Garrison. Mr. Garrison. <laughs> that became Mr. Garrison. <laughs> Mr. Hat. Mr. Hat. <laughs> Mr. Slave. Yeah. Mr. Slave left him when he became a woman. <laughs> I don't. Know. I'm so fucking happy. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up shit, man. You don't want to know. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's wasted youth shit watching South Park and what's that? Watching the reruns over and over again till you memorize the whole script. Fire, 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 fire. But that's all we had. We didn't have anything but South Park back then. We didn't have the internet. We just had South Park. It was uh, easier times back then. It was simpler times. Easier times. Before the internet became this monster. You had, you had, uh, you had dial-up internet back then. You had to actually use your use your brains yeah. and use the... Uh, you couldn't watch videos on it. It'd take you all day. You, you still didn't download. need brains. You just needed a lot of patience. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. It would take a week to download 10 seconds of porn. It was fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Those were tough times. You can't That's know all you need, you though, right? That's all you need, got, though, right? Yeah, you, 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 you just had. needed 10 seconds. That's all. It was like, it, it was great back then because you're you like, oh, yeah, this is so great. And then after 10 <laughs> seconds, it's like, oh, no. Repeat the 10 seconds. Yeah, this is so great. I heard this one comment. We didn't need much to be entertained. You're an then. Olympian. You push repeat. When he was a kid, <laughs> to look at some <laughs> Now they all got oh, it. These kids take porn for granted today. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah. Feels so dirty. Remember, I don't remember it. It all came from oh. Napster. Remember Napster? So just, they, they made it so easy for kids to that, you know. You know they do. I'm the winner. I don't know none of this shit. I guess. <laughs> uh, Napster, yeah, I remember Napster. That was good. Napster. Lars Ulrich from Metallica. Yeah. What was it? It was like it's a, a fall you, you could burn music down for free from the internet. Oh, fall okay. It was kind of like Pirates Bay back in the day. Yes, yeah, yeah same, similar kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Porn paid for the interwebs. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I'm still watching <laughs> yeah. movies off the yeah, hard drive. The technology was originally developed for tor- for porn, believe it or not. Like hmm. a lot of this video technology, it was for porn first. And then they started using it for hmm. other things. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what they used to always say. Oh, the porn is uh, the internet's just nothing, not good for anything but porn. Yeah, that was one, <laughs> one of the cliches from like ten yeah. years ago. I remember that. And now it's been used. <laughs> and now it's been used for world domination. <laughs> <laughs> oh Thanks, man, God, you freak! Yeah, but now you know. Peace. All this, I used all to download is, Art Bell. Undialogue. You can listen to almost that's anything certain. you want on the internet for free now, so I don't get the big deal. Yeah, I used to download Art Bell on the internet, and that took four and a half hours for a three and a half hour show. Mm, yeah, back in the day, <laughs> really slow dial up. Dial up. Yep, I, couldn't, I couldn't get regular internet at my house until like 2012. That's how long it took oh. to, get, to get like regular internet here. So you know, yeah. I had to go. I had to go to the library and shit to use the internet back. For years, because we couldn't. You know, I've never had regular internet. Finally, one day they say they sent me a thing in the mail. Finally, you could get internet in your area. Apparently, they they taxed oh, the yeah. shit out of us though, and took a lot of money to put internet in. But I've and never seen it anywhere on the planet, pretty much. 
everywhere. No, it's oh, everywhere. You can't get it. You can't escape it now. No, I gotta now use. You want to get away from it, but you can't. I gotta use a cell either, man. Yep. So yeah, that's bullshit. We'll see if I if I end up. I don't think I'm gonna get a cell. I don't. I don't see it happening. Now nah, Minnesota spent billions and billions to hardwire to everything. They would be all the cell the country. And they they never came out of any country else, man. So just anyways, buying you know, old payphone. Hey, Eric, just buying old payphone. Yeah, there's no payphones anymore anywhere anymore. That's all by design. <laughs> buying old one. They took all AT &T. the payphones out by design. You know. Yeah, they should be there. They would still get used. Yeah, I mean, for emergency yeah, purposes, you know, there should be pay phones. You would still you make know, money off the pay phones. I don't want people having access to pay phones. No. We want you to. But you really would out still out make money. Hey, here in Australia, we've got we've got free pay phones now. They they stopped the uh, uh, the you used to have to pay to use them. You used to have to pay I don't know fifty cents to make a local call or something. Now it's uh, it's for free. They don't charge you. You just pick up the uh, headset oh, yeah. and, and it's gone. Yeah. Nothing so is people. for free, Ozzy. Yeah, well, you, you know what it is. Anyways. I reckon they've connected it. They've connected it to the NBN, so that they the ASIO can listen to you on your conversations. Yeah. I reckon that's what they've done. Yeah, yeah. it's all by Nothing design. For, for some reason, yeah. they got rid of it. I'm, not, I'm sure it's not for the benefit of humanity. But anyways, on that yeah. note. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. See All right. Next week, bro. Thanks, everybody, for See being here. Good time Thanks, as Joe. always. Thanks, Eric. Yes. Thanks for the show, Eric. Eric. You do a great uh, job. My real talk for, for a few days. And yeah. Oh, I could go. Thank you, Matt Plyman, for being on. World. And we'll see you guys on Wednesday. Good night. All righty. Take care.